Tribal House Network. And don't like the brags, I don't like the boast. They like hot butter on the breakfast toast. Watching flicks, talking chicks, they like the motor boat. Can River Man make it your check? Nope. So look at all these movies I got. Commenting like, mmm, should we watch them or not? I know they just be acting for cash. But I still got one question to ask. Like, why'd he do that? Do that, do that. If that was me, I'd be like, screw that, screw that, screw that. I'm an alpha, I'd eat through that, through that, through that. Mmm, so why'd he do that? Do that, do that. Mmm. Howdy gang, BTM back. We're here. We're going to do a special movie because Zach wanted to. He wanted to commemorate Friday the 13th, which I think as of this posting is tomorrow, if I got my dates right. And joining us is Mac. Howdy, guys. Yo. It's the 11th now, so it'll be out, uh, you know, it's Friday. Be, uh, t- the day after tomorrow. But we're going to do Friday part two, as Zach said. We're not going to waste too much time getting into it. We're stoked to have Mac here. It's been a long time since you've been on with us, man. <laughs> What's up, bros? <laughs> he's our boy. Right. He's, he's here to fuck it. He's, uh, he's, uh, me and him, we're like, we go together like this. We go together like this. When we're together, our fucking our menstruation, it, it fucking syncs up and shit. It's per donk. Like we connect with our dicks. Oh, yeah. Speaking of syncing up, let's do it in three, two, one, play. Oh, hell yeah. That was like really fast, man. Yeah, it was. I'm not wasting any shit. Look at that fucking about. You want to see me throw a pigskin up over that mountain right there? <laughs> <laughs> I do, actually. Fucking, that's Parabout. That's that Parabout mountain. When you get up on that fucking mountain and fatty batty boo blah, it blaze it up. It's a Paramount, baby. Steve Miner film. I suck his dick. He was saying I got into that uh, recording really fast. It's because Matt kept us waiting. Oh, don't blame this on me because I was ready and then Zach's thing Yeah, he showed up. Out. Fucking don't Mac come, showed up. Don't, put the, don't bone wall, Dude, bush wall me. Mac showed up all high and shit. He was even uh, early. Fucking Aaron was keeping us waiting. For some, you're <laughs> like, what Aaron, the fuck dude. is Aaron doing? <laughs> Wait, yeah, I, fuck him and these swampy ass fucking feet, dude. Who was I keeping waiting? Aaron, yeah, Aaron, he's the one that just showed up. He didn't have the movie downloaded and shit. Me and Mac were all ready. See, he's yeah. trying to fucking sabotage <laughs> us. <laughs> Throwing Mac <laughs> under the bus. Yeah, dude, fuck you, dude. No, we're just joking. It, it was Mac. He was fucking, he was lollygagging. It was Zach. Yeah, it was me. I, I take the blame. Yeah, it was Zach. Yeah, yeah fuck Zach. Let's talk about how dumb this is. Fucking Jason, he found uh, Alice. How'd that happen? He's a fucking retard. How'd he do that? This is the only movie where he's actually left the campground, right? And actually had some nice jeans on. Those was nice. Those are Levi's. Uh, yeah, fucking, where'd he get those from? I want to know. JC Penny. And this never goes anywhere, because he just goes back home. <laughs> I mean, he just... It, Literally just here. It's pure revenge. To fucking uh, pad out the runtime, because this is where they put the whole fucking, like, oh, yeah, last time on Friday 13th. And this goes on for, like, uh, 20 minutes or something. And this is where I'm licking her vagina. Hell yeah. No. Hell yeah. I think most of the movies are guilty of this, but this one in particular... It's not, there's not much of a movie here. Like, cause the runtime is only an hour and 20 minutes or something like that without all this bullshit. Yeah. I think the, the actual meat of the movie, this, that script is probably like 50 pages long. It probably clocks in under an hour. There's not a whole lot going on, but how much do you really want in a slasher? It's fine. Hell yeah, exactly. The, the, there's, these are the good, great movies to put on. You don't got to fucking pay attention. You can put a body, uh, not, you could be doing shit around the house and still follow the movie. There's something fun about that. You got to hand it to them. Yeah, I mean, like, how much how much story and how much uh, dragging on do you want in a movie like this? Just get to the stabbing. Cause get to that meat. When you have that, no, then it becomes that movie, like, uh, what the fuck is it? Blood Rage. That's a movie that's way too long than it needs to be. It's almost an okay movie, but if they just would have taken out 20 minutes. Look at them nipsy doozers. Those nipsy doozers poking through the shirt, babe. Would you rub them? Hey, that old bitch looks nothing like Jason with a chain. Yeah. I, I, f- I feel I was robbed. Yeah, that fucking, that France Blu-ray put a fucking Jason with a chain and a silhouette of him on the cover. That's not the killer in that movie. Mm-mm. They fucking lie in, though. So, Mac, what fucking, uh, what, what strand of the weeds are you injecting into your veins tonight? The marijuanas? Dude, I don't even know, bro. I'm almost on E on my carts, brother. Where do you get it from? You gotta tell us the, the name of your dealer. <laughs> Dude, I can't tell you my plug, bro. Yeah, what the fuck? Why, 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 you gotta move back to to the Illinois? 
and, and and so you don't have to risk going to jail and shit no fuck boy i think i just recently figured out what that plug thing meant because i'm not like hip like drugs yeah i get it now the connection connection yeah it's stupid but you see that online floating around with like you know people saying it like uh hit me up you got a plug you got a plug what the fuck you guys thought an ass plug i didn't fucking know what that meant <laughs> i don't i ain't got one fuck it uh, dude would you put your dick in that mouth mm-hmm. no because it's not jason with a fucking chain I, I've been lied to. Fuck it, he's he, he's got a chain. He's he's fucking. <laughs> I've been lied to. Yeah, I've been used. He's part of the chain gang too. I I saw him working on the railroads and shit. I've said it before too. I think uh, <laughs> I think the ending of the first one, this whole fight scene, goes on way too long. It just drags and drags and drags. See, I think the first movie, it's a it's a donk movie, but it, it needed a final edit, like one more go through. This this final fight that they're recapping for some reason the part that I'm complaining about the first movie they actually insert it in this one, it's just it goes on for what feels like ten minutes, and I've yeah. never seen two bitches take so long to fucking pull each other's hair out. I have. Look, I mean, I have chicks fighting over me all the time. I'm sure they love this cock. They're fucking up, baking me and shit, get on their knees and shit, like, Zach, fuck it up, blow a load in my fucking face, come on, bust a loaf in my mouth, please. Please, uh, it's pretty fucking donk. Max, like, sending us sexy pictures, like, who wants a ride? <laughs> He's wasting time, because I don't look at my phone while I'm sitting here doing this. He should just say it. You guys, hey, you guys haven't even taken a breath yet, so I'm just letting you guys do your thing, baby. You're taking all them weed puffs. I don't. I, I'm not, baby. It's all locked up and shit. Like, I'm not doing shit. I'm just watching her in that boat. Look how stupid her fucking haircut looks. Oh, my God. I just want to punch her right in her fucking face. I want to nut on it. And I want to nut on Jason's fucking face, too. At, while he's a child. Is that supposed to be moss all over him? Did he become mermaid boy? He's got fucking mold and shit growing on him. Yeah, that's f- fucking stupid. That's dog. <laughs> Place that right here. He's a moldy boy. Did they ever determine... If this really happened, then she's having dreams about it, or she's just dreaming because it never happened. She never saw. She's having a dream of the dream. It's really confusing. They are stretching out this flashback as far as it will go. (laughs) Six minutes in. And if it possibly was real, how is Jason a full grown adult like a year later? When he was a kid, and he died a kid. He grew up in the lake. He's got fucking Benjamin Button. He's got the thing that Jack had. Fucking, you know, our boy Robin Williams. But he was dead. How does he? Uh, how does he grow when he's dead? He was a kid when he died. See, he he was revived. Uh, she accidentally fucking like uh, she didn't realize it, but uh, she uh, she fucking uh, I don't know. Uh, she, she something happened, but he was revived when she was sailing over him. And then he woke it up, and then he got the Jack's disease. That makes sense. Hey, Mac, uh, so this Who Wants a Ride pick, is this like a pick that you put out on Tinder or Snapchat, or what are you doing with this? Oh, dude, it's on the Snap, baby. But I send it to you guys, too, just in case. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> Free rides for anyone. Your eyes are glazed over. Yes, they are. I'm high as fuck, so some of the stuff I say I don't even fucking remember doing, and then I'll wake up to, like, fucking messages and stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Like, did you yeah. get responses to this? Uh, some, yes. Any dudes? Uh, all of them. All right, so here, here's the thing. Back in Zach, we recorded a fucking uh, drunken commentary, and uh, I was sending a bunch of messages. Um, uh, and uh, fun fact, I didn't send it. I for some, I, I tried to send it, and it didn't go through. But the next day, I realized that I, I, I tucked my dick in and was recording my, uh, recording myself. And I was like, I got a pussy, guys. Look, I got a pussy. Wait, what? <laughs> and I tried to send it, but it didn't go through. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally sent it to my mom. No, I sent it to you. Uh, I was trying to send it to you guys, up. but that would have been dog if it went through. Yeah, don't send me that shit. I got a pussy, guys. I got a pussy. Here, I'll, I'll play the audio because it's pretty funny. Okay. Okay. Max rocking a handlebar mustache now, like Freddie Mercury. Fuck yeah, baby. Yeah, we both got mustaches. Dude, I'm getting some fucking great, like, comments on it, man. The compliments. Someone's like, I can't believe you're doing that. I haven't seen that in forever. And I'm like... Outside of a gay biker bar. But no, it's a cool <laughs> it's a cool look. We should go to Lucas's wedding with that, dude. I'm going to, baby. We, we should both have mustache. It'll be donk. No, you gotta do the handlebars, though. Uh, I'll see. I'll see if I can uh, do it in time, baby. It's a cool look. I think uh, it's fucking gay, but it's awesome. It needs to be. It needs to be masculated again. We need to take it back. It does. We need to take it back. 
No, we need to let people know that we could suck your dick. We could fucking eat your puss. You don't know. What the fuck? You, you got to ask us. We're a, we're a big bag of fucking, you don't know shit. Hey, play this audio of you're, you're going off on. Play this fucking track. I'm, I'm trying to find it. Play <laughs> the fucking track. Play like, the oh, fucking there it is. track. <laughs> no, no, I'm looking for it. I don't see it. Where'd it go? Did I delete it? That was perfect, right? I might have deleted it. Shit. That sucks. What the fuck, dude? You got us all hyped up for nothing. Story story of his life. Boo this man. I just kept repeating it. It was funny. I was like, I got a pussy, guys. I got a pussy. Look, I got a pussy. And it, <laughs> and it ended abruptly. It was donk. Oh, so it was fucking worthless and a waste of our time. Yeah, it was It was donk. It was comedic <laughs> genius, really. This was supposed to be a scene from uh, Psycho. That was a shot that was supposed to be placed like that. Like you thought she was going to get hit with a knife. Fucking slut. I thought, I was, I thought she was going to get hit with my fucking cock. I had it already. I'm fucking ready to bash your fucking skull in with it. My, my dick knocks chicks out. Like I fucking <laughs> I thought they were going to say, I thought he was going to say, my dick is bigger than yours. <laughs> oh, God, you're on a fucking trip right now with that. Too bad. I got your beans in my bag. <laughs> Stuck up, sucker. You corny, corny motherfucker. motherfucker. Is that what he says? Yeah. It's the greatest song ever written. Yeah. It is. <laughs> I hate you. And you hate me! You know what? You know what? It's fucking, it's terrible. Terrible. Greatest band ever, though. They just put out a new album. No, they, I I watched a video, I think it was this this year, where they were celebrating the, what, 20th anniversary or whatever that album, so it was last year, I guess. And I guess somebody asked them, like, why aren't you guys playing the whole thing? Are you guys going to play the whole thing? They're like, no, we're not going to play the whole album, because... Uh, the, uh, All in the Family is a, a shitty track. Yeah, Camel Toast is a shitty track, too. Yeah, they weren't doing Camel Toast or, or... Yeah, they weren't playing everything. Exactly. You just you fucking pretend that shitty stuff just wasn't there. See, if it was today, they would if it came out, like, you know, a day ago, they would just release the expansion pack, which got rid of a couple tracks. That's what they do now. It really is a shit stain in an otherwise really good album for the time. I mean... <laughs> It's two shit stains. I, well, oh, dude, I, I can even forgive Camel Tosis, but that fucking Fred Durst track is cringe, man. It's fucking terrible. And yeah, but if it's going to be bad, you might as well go full fucking retard with it. The Camel Tosis song is just bad. <laughs> I don't know. So, baby, I asked you. I like that laugh. That was funny. <laughs> so, baby, I asked you. What do you want from me? Fucking uh, retarded. Why does she have a screwdriver, though? Or no, it's an, it's ice, an ice pick. pick. It's an ice pick. Remember that fighting game where one of the characters' name was Ice Pick? Was that a Mortal Kombat ripoff game? Probably, yeah. I remember Matt used to play it, and I, I brought it up one time not that long ago, and he was what like, game? he was laughing his ass off, like, that, that doesn't fucking exist. I was like, yeah, he used to play it all the time. It was like a an ice guy. It was He looked like a ripoff <laughs> from the guy from fucking, uh, what's it called? Call him a glacier. No, his name was Ice Cinder. Pick. I, no, I remember. <laughs> I remember you picked him and it said... Cinder! Yeah, he was a ripoff of Cinder, Cinder. but like you picked him and you went, Ice Pick. <laughs> I was like, that's a fucking lame name. <laughs> Combo Breaker. <laughs> fucking uh, Air, Mac is hitting the weeds. Oh, fuck, I just got a cough eye. What the fuck? Yeah, uh, you want to be careful. I just lost a lot of brain cells right there. You want to be careful uh, uh, drinking alcohol and smoking the weeds at the same time? It can result in the projectile vomits. Dude, fucking Dude, over 12 minutes in. <laughs> yeah, didn't you see my picture I sent you after the aftermath? Hell yeah. <laughs> to the body with the fucking chunks everywhere? Hell yeah. <coughs> 12 and a half minutes, Zach, and now we got the title card. Of that bullshit. 12 and a half minutes in, and then they do the titles where there's no footage playing, it's just a black screen, to fucking pad the running time out even longer. <laughs> the movie's really less than an hour and 14 minutes. It's pretty donk. Well, you got to account for the credits, too. The end credits. Yeah, the end credits. That's donk, too. This movie's barely in over an hour. You know what's funny is you go back and watch old movies. Uh, like, a long time ago, they didn't even put fucking end credits in movies. That's that's weird to just watch a movie abruptly end. Like uh, Psycho. I know. They would have, like, an end title card, like Finn. No, sometimes they didn't. Hmm. It's pretty donk. They wanted you walk it out just being like, holy shit. I guess uh, that still happens, but people just leave during the credits now. Unless it's a Marvel movie where you had to sit to watch the rest of the movie. 
No, you know what's funny is like it's not even just Marvel now because people tend to sit around for the credits no matter who put it out. Yeah, what the fuck is the what's the deal with that? I'm ready to get the fuck up and leave. My ass hurt. Because they set this. Th- well, you think about it. If Marvel's been making movies for ten or eleven years now and they put out two or three movies a year and they're all like in the top 20 movies of all time. It's just ingrained in people's DNA now, regardless of who put the fucking thing out. Oh, there's got to be something after the credits. Let's wait here. And people kind of look stupid. Which brings me to my overall point. The movie going audience is fucking stupid. Making Marvel the number one movie every time. I I don't have any desire to see the new it movie. I'm not, uh, I don't know. I might wait for that one to come out uh, on demand or whatever. You've only seen half the movie, baby. Yeah, you've always seen half of it. Yeah, technically. What up, Bach? Yeah, 577 Bach. What a bitch. Exxon. And see, we got the fucking bootleg Kevin Bacon in this movie. They couldn't get him back because they killed him in the first movie. And uh, his girlfriend, which, uh, yeah, uh, he's got one of those fucking, uh, what's it called? What's that hat called? Not him, but the fucking Kevin Bacon. DeLorean? Oh, like the, I don't know, like the Newsy hat? What is that? Yeah, the fucking, uh, I don't know what they're called. Yeah. That's called the, that's the, uh, whatever it is. Yeah, we know what it is. The newspaper, yeah. the Newsies looking hat. Newspaper thing. Yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd point that out <laughs> that I can't see. I think you're just I'm trying to, I think silent. you're taking a cue from this movie and you're just trying to say shit like that to pad the podcast time. Exactly. You fucking got it. You fucking got it. But yeah, that girl right there, that, that girl, uh, fun fact, they shot a sex scene for this movie uh, later in the movie whenever they're having sex, obviously. She looks underage. She looks underage. And she was underage, so they had to fu- She lied about her age, so they had to fucking destroy the footage. Oh, did she show titties? They, they went that far? They have to, yeah. That's like a law. Fuck. She's a fucking liar and a fat mouth. See, I don't understand how people got away with just lying back then. It's like the whole Tracy Lords thing, right? Because mm. she got into porn at 14 yeah. and she lied about her age, just saying she was 18. I'm like, man, the, they just weren't about background checks in the porn industry in the 70s and 80s, mm. I guess. But she was making movies ever since she was 14. And of course, when it all finally came and aired out, that she was underage. Now, anything before her being eighteen is is deemed, you know, child porn, and it's illegal. That's literally fucking child. But that's not like, oh, I took a picture of my toddler, uh, fucking with shit all over their ass. That's uh, what's Sarah Connor doing in this? Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Sakata. No, but it's it's absolutely ridiculous. Like how, if that happened today, you'd think maybe the 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 porn film board, whoever the fuck they are would be fined or something. But, you know, it's kind of that thing to kind of always say, well, you know, it was different. It was different in the 80s or it was different in the yeah, 70s. That's probably when the law was created back then, baby. But it's true. Yeah. Back in whatever decade you want to reference, it was different. You just kind of like, eh, got away with it and just moved on. Exactly. But yeah, like, so you have to imagine in those old porn movies, Porn. She was probably fucking dudes twice her age, like big, ugly, ma- n- nasty mustache looking dudes, like fucking John Holmes with his fucking massive cock. Yeah, I mean, it was probably like guys that were like fucking forty years old, and they're fucking nailing a fourteen year old. I wonder. There's nothing sexier than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking terrible. <laughs> That's gonna ruin my chances of becoming president sometime. You know what's funny is that made You know, him, me and no. Epstein, I used to say that to Epstein whenever he was fucking that 14-year-old chick. I was like, Epstein, you look so fucking hot right now, Epstein. You're going to be making a movie and they're going to fucking kick you out. That's what makes Zach take a step back, not the constant, like, talking about fucking little kids. Okay. Got too real for him. But, hey, you mentioned Sarah Connor a minute ago. So they dropped another trailer for uh, a final trailer for that new Terminator. I'm still not interested in it at all. I guess it's a better trailer than the other ones they had, but... You know, no thanks. Uh, uh, probably gonna be better to determine your salvation. Oh, I'm sure, but that's that's so easy though. I mean, it's it's like uh, yeah. I dude, I remember when that movie came out. People were like trying so hard to pretend like it wasn't shitty though. Yeah, because it had their Lord and Savior Christian Bale in it, and it was trying to be dark and gritty. Yeah, he's amazing, right? Because he was coming off the heels of the Batman movies. It's like, oh, he makes everything so good, and the movie was shit. You know who so, they should have got to play uh, our boy in that movie? Fucking the Reeves. Hmm. I would have calmed. I think it's just going to be like Halloween 2018 where it's going to be a given. It's going to be the best movie in so many years, right? But that's not that's not an accomplishment. 
Like this movie is going to be better than probably three. I like four, three. Okay. I, it's just okay though. But I bet you this one will be a little bit better than that, but that's not an accomplishment. And I don't expect it to be better than the second one or the first one, but I don't know. It just doesn't look very, I know the whole story. The whole thing is fucking leaked and I don't like the story. I think it's fucking bollocks. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, it's bollocks. It's bollocks. Fucking those bollocks. But uh, hey, Mac, Arnie looks fucking sweet in the the MK game. He, the, you know, obviously they took the likeness from that new movie for promotional purposes. Oh, here we go with the MK fucking autism. Wait, whoa, 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 what are we talking about? Terminator. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Terminator. Yeah, he does. He looks just like he does from the movie. And yeah, they're Terminator. For I was telling Zach for promotional purposes, he he's the one from the new movie coming out, which is fine. Which. I think they should have put Sarah Connor in it, but I guess they put Sarah Connor in another game. What's the Xbox or PC game that she's in? FPS? Uh, I don't know if it's a Gears of War or... The oh, yeah, I think she might be in that because they're adding Terminator to that as well. Oh, Gears of War you could be Sarah Connor in your first person shooter. You don't know who you are anyway. No, it's a third person <laughs> shooter. Uh, I didn't mean first person, so I think it might be Gears, but I'm not sure. It is Gears of War. I just said that. Okay, so Fuck you confirm boy. that. I watched a video of it. And it looks just like her. It's like, oh man, it's like they should just put her in Mortal Kombat. Stick her in Mortal Kombat. She'd be, she'd work. But uh, she can dyke out with Sonya. Here, here's uh, the fucking chick with those tits though, and that, that butt. Look at that butt. This is I always laugh at this. He fucking he shoots her ass with the slingshot. He hits the right cheek, but she grabs her left cheek. It's pretty funny. Fucking retard. <laughs> She's a fucking retard. <laughs> Fuck her. She can't even like. Her. I, I like how he noticed that. Like he was like. <laughs> That was like one thing. She's fucking retarded. How can you not notice that? Well, and, and when Maybe you first, just, yeah, I mean, sometimes people go ow when they when they barely get hit. I mean, it's just a thing. Maybe she just grabbed the other side. Like, what the? Don't fuck? fucking make excuses for her retardation. Okay, sorry. I thought maybe it was going to be down to like an edit or something, but no, it was all in one shot. You're right. Hit the one cheek, and she grabbed the other. So, what do you think of this chick with the red shirt? I always I thought she was cute. The chick that tries to fuck the creepy boy. She underage too. Let's see. Uh, no. She tries to fuck Crippy Boy, though. Remember that? Crippy Boy. So I've been getting into it with him, throwing it back in his stupid Crippy Boy face about how I love to just sit around and how I'd rather drive to the end of the block than walk. <laughs> the guy's in a wheelchair. Yeah, that's why I called him Crippy Boy. Have a good one. That's from Clerks, too. I'm not really that big of an asshole. Yeah, I think I saw... I follow limited run games and they put out a lot of those shitty little indie titles like physical copies. And that had so much to do with what I was saying. Yeah, it's a Jay and Silent Bob game. Motherfucker. Oh, it was coming full circle. Give me time, man. Patience, bitch. Oh, look, uh, me and Mac have been to this place. Great. No one cares. <laughs> and no one does care. What place? This uh, place. We do. It was in the video game, though. We didn't go there, really. Yeah. You, we yeah, went. we went to this place in the video game. We got to walk around, see the, see the place around. It's pretty cool. Okay. So Jenny here, what do you think of Jenny? What do you think of her as the uh, in the echelon of fucking uh, uh, survival girls? She's basic. She's got a Tuesday night vibe. Uh, I would say Wednesday, but I'd fuck her anyway. Yeah. Same diff. She's from, uh, she's also in the movie, um, what's that movie called? The other slasher movie? With Biff from Back to the Future. Oh, uh... Fuck. April uh, Fool's Day. April Fool's Day, yeah. Brother dog. Uh, Mac, you suggested it because I saw you posted it in our group chat, so I finally watched Society last night, actually. Fucking good. So OT. It's fucking like classic stuff that I, I wish I would have watched a long time ago. Did you watch the Joe Bob version? No, I watched it on Shudder. God, with- fucking, you suck. I watched it just with that, the Joe Bob version. When did he do it? Was that at the Dinners of Death or what? Yes. Fucking oldest one. I fucking forgot about it. I would have watched the Joe Bob one. Beta move. Yeah, but it was good, though. I liked it. That guy, that the dude, the lead, the lead guy, and he had some fucking John Stamos hair going on. Yeah, he did. But it was good. I, I don't know if I want to give it. A six or a seven. I wish I could give it like a 6.5. I'm going off letterbox scores now because Zach's got me programmed. But, uh, oh yeah. Max on letterbox too. I'll have to add him. Oh, look at that fucking uh, bulge. I would fucking, uh, there's not much there, but I would fucking uh, grab it. I was about to say, I'm like, I don't see one. 
Yeah, he's got to fuck his. He's got to bulk that up. He's got to stuff a sock in there or something. He's a Ken doll. Oh yeah, they're sexy though, Ken. That chick's too freckly for me. Oh, you're such a beta. The freckles, man. The freckles. They'll swallow your soul. They're little pores that open up and swallow your gummies whenever you shoot your nuts on her face. Yeah, that's nice. It's pretty fucking hot. Yes, man. Hey, Max. So what? Uh, what else have you watched lately? We haven't talked to you in forever. Dude, you're putting me on the fucking spot, bro. I'm not asking to do arithmetic. I actually, I got a funny little, like, two-second story. So, uh, speaking of movies, I went to try and watch that Banana Split movie. Yeah. Did you guys see that yet? No, I, I suggested that we do that, but... I watched it already. <laughs> you did? I I got all the way to, like, maybe ten minutes in, and I passed out at, like, super fucking early, but Katana decided that she was going to stay up and watch the whole fucking movie by herself as we're all asleep. I wake up she wakes up she doesn't say anything about it till later as I'm taking her to school she's like dad I'm mad at you and I'm like why she's like you made me stay up and watch that whole (laughs) banana movie I was like oh shit I forgot that that was still on she watched the whole thing dude Max so stoned he forgot what the movie was called while he was telling the story no I was trying to think of what she called it she doesn't know what it's called oh my thing was better you should just went with it She's obsessed with Five Nights at Freddy's, so like she, this reminded her of that. And then later on, she's like, "Yeah, apparently that's what that movie was gonna be before they, yeah, pretty put much. the banana splits in there." So which is lame. Later on, it's funny because she's like, "Are we gonna watch that banana movie?" Because I like that movie. I was like, "What the fuck?" I was let down. But there's that. I haven't finished it. I want to. F- really. Yeah, I was it like, seems, fuck, this seemed okay from what I watched. This is just, this is below fucking middle of the road to me. So what, like a four? You know what? Towards the end of the movie, it got fucking like towards the end of the movie, he kills somebody, and then starts put, throwing out fucking like funny one-liners. It's like this is what the movie should have been the whole fucking movie. You wait till the last fucking thirty minutes. So is it not worth a watch or what? Should I waste my time? I I don't think it's worth fucking doing on the show. I think you just watch it. You watch whatever the fuck you want, babe. Just watch. We got to do the fanatic John Travolta Fred Durst movie, though. That movie's not even out yet. It's in theaters. Uh, is it not on on demand? Nope. What the fuck happened? I've been trying to find it. Well, no, it got. I saw it was getting a theatrical release, but it was just like a couple of theaters. It was one of those real limited things where usually it coincides. You can't even buy it on shot on a uh, voodoo. I'm going to look this up. When's it coming out here? Um, I just I just did. It's not out. <laughs> I just did. Oh, yeah. We watched. Yeah. Uh, what was that movie we watched? Fucking uh, Lords of Chaos. Uh, that was a dog film. And it, it piqued my interest enough to get the book and uh, go through that book, baby. It was dog. And you uh, you misspelled peak on Instagram like an idiot. And I had to correct you. I had to be that guy. Oh, it's fine. Whatever. But it, it is a good movie. Um, but you're a total fucking noob, man. Like you act like you don't know those stories. Yeah. You, all you listen, you listen to Malcor, man. Get real, get true. I knew, no, I knew those stories. Like, oh, my I, ass, you did. Bullshit. I knew, like, whenever, like, oh yeah, my ass. Whenever I saw, oh, this is about mayhem. I realized, oh yeah, that's the kid that kills himself. That's the fucking. We talked about the fucking picture of the album on an episode before. God, you're you're fucking. Zach, you're, Zach, Zach likes to act like he's true and hardcore, but he's not. Because <laughs> because they don't sell mayhem shirts at Hot Topic, so it's not on his scene, man. Your memory is fucking shit. <laughs> uh, my memory's pretty good. It's fucking dick. <laughs> memory's pretty great. Memory is fucking dick. It's pretty fucking good, if you ask me. It's garbage. So, some other movies... My memory remembers how to spell peaked. What? Dark Crystal on Netflix. You guys have checked that out yet? No. I never watched a uh, movie, so... Well, fuck you. I watched the movie and thought it sucked. Fuck y'all. Also, uh... God damn it, I just had it. There's fucking Crippy Boy. He's winning in the fucking uh, arm wrestling contest. Fucking Crippy Boy. <laughs> that, that, that scene where he falls down the stairs is the best. Or the, yeah, that's the best scene fucking ever. I better make sure he's not really crippled in real life before I make fun of him for being crippled. It's, a, it's all good when it's just a character, baby. He's probably dead. Hey, but for serious, though, on Lords of Chaos, though, did it, uh, did it bother you that they just decided not to lose their American accents, even though they're... Obviously not in America. Didn't give a fuck. Yeah, you don't care. Like, 10 minutes into it, you just kind of get used to it. But it, it never really left me. I'm like, 
uh, yeah, it was it was surreal. It's like, oh, these guys are in America, but they're not in America. The fact that they hired a Jewish guy to play the uh, the VAR guy who hates the Jews was fucking awesome. That's fucking donk. I would have done the same thing. And that's a and that's a point I brought up to you. And I guess uh, that's like a fucking thing. Like black metal was really fucking pro fascist and shit. That's uh, maybe that's why I never got into that shit. It split. They they started it right. Mayhem and they all that was a st- and then it kind of split into these weird sects where yeah there were there are people that take it way too seriously. You know your vargs and shit like that. But I, I think most yeah most of them don't though. But then you have like Gaul, that guy from Gorgoroth or whatever, the gay guy. Right. That's awesome. got the little fucking. Yeah. He's he's like all serious satanic and he praises all the church burnings and all that stuff that went on. And and he's weird. He looks like a super hardcore satanist, but he's got this little boy toy on a leash with him everywhere. And he makes a pretty strong argument. He's like, think about it. He's like, if you're a satanist, what more sacrilegious could you be than gay? I'm like, oh, I guess you got a point. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. The, the Bible hates it. I hate a lot of shit that happens now. And it's pretty cool. Is that jo- is that John Bon Jovi, dude? Looks just like John Bon Jovi. Mixed with Kevin Bacon. Ah, looks more like John Bon Jovi. Looks like they tried to replace Kevin Bacon. Fuck it. Yeah, he's bootleg bacon. He's fucking Canadian bacon. Mm-hmm. Bootleg Joe. <laughs> bootleg bacon, boot- Canadian bacon. He's really just fucking ham. <laughs> and what's funny is fucking Kevin Bacon is from Canada. So he's just fucking Canadian bacon ham. Fuck him. Shut the fuck up. See, he needs to change his name to Kevin Ham. I would uh, suck his dick if he did. <laughs> That's pretty donk. What if he changed it to turkey bacon? Did they find out that chick was underage before the movie went out, or did they have to, like, amend it, you know, and go back and... They shot the fucking uh, sex scene with her titties flopping around. So this one right here is underage? But did it get released at all, and did they have to remove it and put out another pressing, or what? No, it was fucking the the movie wasn't released yet, baby. It would have been in the movie. No, no, dude. Back then, they don't Disney fucking movies like that every other place. But back, no, back then, no, it wasn't like they could have easily put it out in theaters and taken it back because stuff. A video wasn't a common thing. VHS wasn't a common thing. Like the video would have came much later, anyway. So you wouldn't know because you weren't there. I was there. We were there. I was there. You were swimming in your dad's nutsack. No, you weren't even doing that. Me and Mac were around when the fucking... We were riding on the top of your fucking car, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mac were around when fucking America was discovered, bitch. You don't know shit about us. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like Munchie when you saw, like, books of him, like, in all this fucking crazy historic event shit. Dude, that's when you're gonna you're gonna see us. We were, we're the Forrest Gump of the fucking forming of America. We are Bill and Ted. We were, we were down with that shit. We are. We actually, we, we wrote a whole fucking second page to like uh, the fucking, uh, you know, what's it called? What's that thing he steals in the fucking movie? Fucking Nicolas Cage. Oh, the fucking uh, <laughs> and the Bill of fucking... Rights or the Declaration of Independence or whatever. Yeah, Declaration. Okay. We wrote the whole second page and it got omitted because we fucking, we were fucking high and we dropped the fucking ink and f- fucking destroyed it. You know what would piss a lot of people off if we told them we were the ones that wrote the Bible? We did. <laughs> oh, yeah. We fucking did. We decided what goes and stays out of that. We're actually working on a part two. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we're doing now. You'll know when it comes out. It'll just drop out of the heavens. That's just ripping off George Carlin, because that's what he was uh, supposedly doing before he died. George Carlin's fucking dead. He's not really dead. He's in my basement, but <laughs> he's helping us write it. He's not dead. He's locked in my basement. God, do you yeah. notice that, uh, do you notice he just like, his hand came up over a tree? How'd he do that? He's pretty tall. <laughs> he's pretty fucking tall, though. He's skinny as fuck, or he's pretty fucking tall, though. Yeah, that tree, it was just a big fucking stump, I think. They cut the, the, the roots, or the fucking, uh, you know, leaves off of it. They just, they cut the leaves off, that's it. They're like, we don't like that shit. That kind of reminds me, this kind of reminds me of society. Why? Oh, that shot of the fucking shit on the mirror? Yeah, that's in a lot of movies. Red Rom. But yeah, Kevin Bacon, I'd still suck his dick. So, did you find out if the guy's really handicapped or not? I, I didn't care to look. I'm just going to refer to him as Creepy Boy through the rest of the movie, though. <laughs> his name's Mark. I, I'm pretty sure he's not, but he is dead, I think. Because, uh, uh, I, yeah, I think he died of uh, the AIDS, if I remember right. Oh, wait. I wasn't thinking society. What's that? There's a movie. Fuck, what was it that I watched? I watched... The Shining? No, 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 no. 
there's a movie just like this where they go out. God damn it. I just watched it on my fire stick um, where they go out and they go across the lake. The burning burning. That's what it was. That's it's just like this shit. I just watched that for the first time. Uh, which reminds me, I watched that documentary on Hulu about fucking, what's his fuck? Uh, the Weinstein guy. What's up with this? I didn't, what, what's going on with him? Harvey Weinstein. I watched that fucking uh, voodoo or uh, Hulu documentary. And it was just decent. It was like, okay. Um, there was like three chicks that they got to come on and tell their story. It's like, you couldn't get more people. Why didn't the heavy hitters come? They're just, it's like, fuck you guys. Why? Like you could have put this guy in jail, put out this movie. And, uh, you, you were like, ah, oh, never mind. Fuck that. We forgot about it already. This is my favorite part. The hot dogs. Fucking hot dogs. Fucking hot dogs are donk. Mm-hmm. And why she's using that to do that. But yeah, it ends on a bad note. It's like, uh, it, he just gets out. He gets, uh, I don't remember. It's like nothing near what he deserved. It's like, oh yeah, he was out of, He's already out of prison or something. What'd he do? Like, I don't know what he did. You, you didn't hear about Harvey Weinstein? Dude, I'm fucking... You live under a fucking rock? I do. I come home and I don't do shit. You know that. He's the guy that was fucking... We both do that. He was getting the chicks to fucking... <laughs> like, oh yeah, you want to be in this movie? Suck this dick, though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's an ugly bitch. So he he's made got, the burning then? <laughs> yeah. He, him and his brother, uh, that was their first fucking movie. His face looked like a, his face looks like a ruffled chip. <laughs> you mean it looks like an egg? <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got so many pock marks in his face. It's like holy shit, this guy's craters. Yeah, he, he crater face. I, I just want to shoot my nuts in his face, let it dry in the craters, and then we can smooth the sand them down. Look and how she's holding that fucking cock. I mean that fucking chainsaw, dude. Hell yeah, them thighs, though. I kind of want to play this again. I kind of want to fuck her though. Yeah, I would too. I thought that's what you were gonna say. Yeah, I I kind of want to hit that. Got five pieces ass though too. Oh, this is to see where they go and they they find Camp Blood. It's Kevin Turkey Bacon. Yeah, he's still wearing a hat. Why? You getting ready to go swimming, Kevin? Because it's attached to his fake hair. His fake head. That's exactly what he needs. Hey, Aaron, would you suck those tits? I'm not falling for your tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not falling for your games. You know it's funny if you go back and, if you go back and listen to Banana Laser podcast, they're talking about like, oh man, she got some nice tits. She's pretty fucking hot too. She's an unsung attractive chick in this movie. <laughs> like literally, like not that long later, it came out. It came out that like, yeah, she was uh, underage. Remember? How old was she? I don't know. Probably like seventeen. She looks like she's fucking fourteen to me. She looks like know. a Tracy Lawrence type of thing. Crazy Laura Star with thing. She does got some nice titties, though. <laughs> <laughs> I could say it. She's old enough now. She got Bobby's ass, though, too. <laughs> yeah, the guy next to her is the one I want to fuck. But he's got a nice, big, thick dick. Okay. I want to see how long that awkward silence would last. And fucking Aaron, uh, he's always the guy that fucks it up. Okay. Always got to do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why is this guy wearing a fucking helmet hat? <laughs> What's up, helmet head? They they were always so try hard on making their gang of people look or be so fucking weird and goofy. Like nobody's this silly. Like in any of the movies, Return of the Living Dead, these fucking movies, nobody's this fucking weird. Aaron, are you high? Because your voice just changed. You got a little lower. You're like, yeah, man. Like <laughs> nobody wants yeah. to do this, man. <laughs> <laughs> my brother wants to come here next year. He's like, my brother wants to go to school here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I notice every time somebody takes a huge hit and then talks like with it in their mouth, it sounds like every fucking movie where somebody kidnaps their daughter and then they call me like, "You have five days to give us the body." Like, do it, Mac. Take a big hit and then say that in the mic. That'd be dog. You want me to do that? Hold on. Let me go get it. Yeah, let me go get it. I'll puff one for you. Oh, yeah, so we'll have to wait for that. We'll have to wait for that joke to pay off. <laughs> uh, we, hey, Mac, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we tried prank calling. <laughs> Sorry, you'll bleep that out. He just ran to get his, his weeds, though. He, he can't hear oh, you. Oh, his tweets. Can't, you, can't, he can't you hear what he's saying? What? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, he's I, was saying, I was saying a couple of weeks ago, Zach and I were on the podcast. And we were prank calling your work, um, hoping we would get you, but I guess you weren't working. We got somebody else. So it was pretty funny. He wasn't very fun. Yeah, uh, we were like, oh, yeah, you guys got a copy of uh, fucking uh, Wicked Man in? <laughs> Nick Cage. I work Wednesday through Friday, or fuck, 
uh, Saturday through Tuesday. So exactly. <laughs> oh, we might have been recording on a Wednesday, motherfucker. Yeah, we probably just missed it. Well, yeah, you would have. It wasn't probably you would have. Take take the hit and do it. Do it to the mic. Do what? <laughs> do what? You gotta hold it for a second, dude. <laughs> You can't just blow it out right away. Do you know how the weeds work? You gotta fucking hold that in. <coughs> yeah, I did. What'd you want? You, you didn't say what I told you to say. So tell me again. I forgot. You see, that's what that's what happens when you become a piehead. You gotta let me. You gotta let me. <laughs> you gotta let me fly, Alan. I'm a I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. Take, take a huge ass fucking hit. Hold it in and go. <laughs> you have five days to give us the body we want, or something like that. Okay. All right. Sounds stupid. We took we took your like kid. That. You got five days to give us your, the body. Do you love your husband? What is that? True lies? Do you love your husband? Oh, yeah. You got- <coughs> You're a fucking lightweight. <coughs> take it to the head. Take it to the head. Fucking soy boy over here. He can't even, uh, he can't even take a huge hit. You could tell this, this is a new stoner. Uh, pizza delivery, man. And uh, if you don't answer your door. We're gonna TP your <laughs> If you don't pay, we'll uh, we'll TP your house. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna be ripped here in a little bit. Get ripped. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this sex scene. Get fucking uh, baked. Uh, we're, we're gonna see uh, fucking uh, Jason here for a second. Tater sack Jason. Finally. <laughs> the fucking, uh, there he was. 40 fucking minutes into the movie, you get a... Was that Lisa? A glimpse. They just painted over that fucking Chrysler logo, whatever the fuck that is. The Pontiac, yeah, it's just yeah. painted over. What's Lisa doing in this? Fuck it, they didn't want to have to censor it out. They didn't want to have to pay Pontiac. Cheap skates. I'd still try and go after him anyway. I'm like, I could, I could see it. What's this cheap, generic-looking fucking Charles Bronson? Yeah, why not just drive through? Just chase it. Why, why are you even chasing the guy? It's not illegal to fucking hang out in the woods with a bag on your head. This fucking cop is a fucking fascist. Did you see that he took a second to, like, fucking check his hair out? He, like, swiped his hand across the side of his head? Like, it was really weird. He stopped <laughs> and did that. And then he kept running. He started uh, slowing down like a robot. You're like, check his hair out. Oh, I did? Yeah, this fucking dog. <laughs> it's because he's fucking high, bro. It's, you sound high all of a sudden. You're crazy, man. Oh, there's a there's a great scene that uh, the the guys no. the guys from Banana Laser pointed out on their commentary. I'll point it out here. But like, whenever the uh, the cop gets into Jason's little fuck shack here, uh, he lifts up the <laughs> toilet, and for a split second, you can see the toilet, and it looks like it's full of cum. What? Like Jason just jacks off into the toilet whenever he's got to release. Yinky, he, he does it on top of it. He's got to release that shit. See, look, they're they're establishing that puddle there. We got to notice that puddle. Remember that puddle. Because it means that you're close to Jason and Shaq. <laughs> Did uh, he never really. Ha- What'd you say? He cut out, baby. Did I? Am I here? I give up. Hey, hey we found the Shaq. Does that mean we just got to put the sweater on? Hell yeah. And get Tommy. <laughs> you guys are dying. You guys are like sound. Yeah, you're, you're, you're slowing. <laughs> you keep cutting out. You're slowing down, baby. You turned into a robot. Fucking robot Nick over here. You say Mac was slowing down? Maybe it's your connection, Zach. It's you. Well, you, uh, you said Mac was slowing down, and I, I wasn't even talking. It was you. You're, like, speeding up and slowing down oh. and turning into a robot. Holy shit. I wonder why. You're you're fine now, baby. Ah, oh, interesting. But yeah, watch whenever he, he lifts up the toilet lid. It looks like it's full of cummies. It's coming right here. Literally coming. Do you think he was doing it on his shit? Hell yeah, I think this, this is fucking uh, Jason just hangs out and he fucking jacks off into his toilet. Whatever, he's, he's got the uh, a boner. Doesn't know what to do with it. Look, right here. It's really quick. Oh, look at that cum. <laughs> How would you even notice that? Ew. <laughs> That's a lot of cum. Looked like marshmallow fluff with like fucking like Ew. coconut oil spread all over it. See, he doesn't shit in there because it would stink so much, so he just he uses it as his cum rag. Why does everyone have the same haircut in this movie? Because it's a fucking dank haircut. And it wasn't even white. It really was pearly colored. It's fucking gross. Yeah, it was pearly. It was. Uh, it looked uh, good enough to drink. Yeah, it was pearly. <laughs> it was pearly. That pearly shit. Oh, fuck. That pearly sauce. <laughs> hey, we've been here before. Hell yeah. Me and Mac, we've been here. Packing the Ag Lodge. Knack and cracking. Fucking, it's the dank shit. That's the man notes. 
So uh, yeah, about that game, fucking uh, they they put out it they put it out on Wii, but. People were what? like, how uh, they put it out on the. Oh, they put it out on Switch, dude. They put it out on Switch, but people were like, how the fuck <laughs> you put it out on Switch if you can't make any new fucking material? Is that a new thing? Yeah, that's funny. That's what I kept saying. I guess it depends on whether or not they had already agreed to make it before uh, that shit happened. Oh, they're lo- the right. Yeah, but they agreed to do all the DLC before all that shit. Yeah, and even the- they already had that signed out and ready to go. So what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Jason X was already ready and shit. You know what's funny is Jason X was supposed to come out one week, and then like they were like, "Oh, we're gonna we got some more to do because we're gonna add a map." If it just would have came out, it would have fell within that. You know, everything that's out can stay in there. I feel uh, like it's just a big fucking like they just wanted to stop doing it. Oh, what are you with your conspiracy theories back? Fucking, it was at the grassy knoll. Dude, they even had the. T- there was a team that left because they were done. They didn't want to do anything. Yeah, they sold it off. But did they turn around and make the Predator game too? They're still around though. Yeah, they just moved on to another game now. Hey, no, hold on. No, they were really killed by the the fucking uh by Hillary Rotten Clinton. And uh, a fucking uh, shadow government was put in their place. So it's uh, it's fake bootleg versions of them making the Predator game. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Hey, is the server still up, though? Or do they have to take the servers down with the Jason game? They're still up. Okay. See, I, I was always kind of bummed that they didn't use the the, J- the Tater Sack Jason stature. He's all fucking, like, uh, roided out and shit in the game. <coughs> Looks like a big swollen testicle. Yeah, the fucking, uh, our boy, uh, Steven Dash, he wasn't a big roided out testicle. He was a skinny, lanky dude. Put him in there like that, though. This can be the cover art for the fucking. Yes. For the fucking. For our, this vid. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be a picture of the moon and shit. We'll check the pod. No, the, the thumbnail should just be her ass getting hit on the wrong side. I've already got the thumbnail, baby. It's coming to you. Dude, she's fucking sexy, though. Hell yeah. God damn, bitch. Look at that. <laughs> what? That's huh? nice. Call her a My bitch. You fucking huh? asshole. She's, she's not a bitch. She's a, she's a beautiful... Stop being feminist. She's a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful... She's a mermaid. She is a beautiful fucking bitch. She's a beautiful bitch. She's like, she's like Mother Teresa. But with way better tits. Exactly. She's like Mother Teresa, but with way better tits. They're not better, but they're perkier. I fuck them tits. Dude, if they're like that, like if they're like, they're like the perfect size where they don't have to wear a bra, even if they're small, dude, that's sexy as fuck. And you can see their perks popping. She's an elegant woman. You don't fuck those tits. You make love to those tits. I would definitely make. And you come on those tits. I would. Oh yeah, there's those tits. Fucking tits. Fucking though. titties. Fucking just slobber all over them tits. So, uh, Aaron, what do you think about those tits, bro? I think she's got a rather... Give it a letterbox rating, bro. Letterbox rating. Letterbox? Well, it's kind of like what you were saying. Uh, it's, it's all they're about... They're perky, pro- they're small, but look when she bends over, they're kind of bigger. It's all about proportion. She's got a finely toned athletic body, and those tits are perfect for it. <laughs> they are. And, like, the shirt she wears, she doesn't have to wear a bra, and she fucking knows it, dude. Exactly. And it's fucking sexy. And that's an automatic 10 out of 10. Oh, fucking, now you're encouraging people to take off their bras. You're such a feminist. My boy, Jimmy the Grape. Jimmy the Grape. 10 out of 10. <laughs> He's still wearing that hat, though. Always. I kind of want to get one of those hats, see if I can rock it like the Tom Waits. Dude, you totally could. The Tom Waits, though. And then I'll start singing like him and shit. I'll just become Tom Waits. Be donk. Be Tom Brady. Tom Brady, too. Tim Tebow, though. See, look, this is... Tito. I always thought this chick was the cutest chick in the movie, though. I don't know why. She kind of looks like the chick from, uh... What's her name? From uh, Freaks and Geeks. She's actually in that new horror movie. Oh, Linda, whatever. Yeah, that Linda chick. I'd fuck that chick. Fucking Daphne. Or, uh... Is it Lala Rona? Fucking, what's her name? She played Velba on the Scooby-Doo movies. Yeah, Lala Rona, though. Is that what it is? Is that what it's called? Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, that... Did you guys watch that? That, uh, that Latin folktale? James Wan movie? La Lorena or whatever, okay. James Juan. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's in that. She's the mom in that. Which is fucked up, because someone was like, hey, that's, what's her name from Freaks and Geeks? And I'm like, holy fuck, it is. 
She got old, but she's still fucking hot. I heard she uh, she likes to party. She's a partier. You might she be able looks to fuck like her it. in Hollywood if you go there. Dude, she looks like she's fucking like Thrasher, bro. Fuck yes. That's like 10 out of 10 automatically, dude. Hey, look, let's see that dirty water. That's going up into her pussy. <laughs> Is that hot? <laughs> That's tar, dude. That's not water. She's in tar. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's like whenever you take a cup, put it upside down, and then submerge it in water. Dude, look at that fucking hairy pussy. Pussy. That pussy. <laughs> Would you eat that cotton candy? Now that's a, now that's a pussy, baby. That's a pussy. Hey, I'm taking your shit. That that shot was almost in focus. <laughs> fuck that guy. They didn't want to see that guy. Exactly. I would fuck him though. He's got some nice. He's got, he's got a nice sexy smile. <laughs> he looks hey, like hey. fucking uh. Ad, or what's the dude's name from fucking Saturday Night? He did that movie with Adam Sandler. Uh, he's got sexy eyes, too. Oh, Andy Samberg. He has that smile like him, but he looks like... That dude with the fro? Yeah, Samberg. This part's so funny looking. I've always wanted to jack <laughs> off and shoot a fat-ass nut in his fro. <laughs> and then watch him try to comb it out. <laughs> like, well, that's my fetish. I, I like to nut in people's hair and then watch him try to comb it out. He looks like one of the twins from that... In- What's that show called? Entourage? Oh, oh, no, I never watched it. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And they add all those famous celebrities. He looks just like the main guy of it. Adrian uh, something or other. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Adrian Mendoza, the Omega. They also look like the dudes that's like, I'm crazy for this girl. What? Yeah. That's a Max favorite boy band. Look, she just threw her fucking shirt and then fucking retarded ass Jason's face. How'd she not see that? Dude, is this the dude or the chick? Trick question. Is this the dude or the chick? Is this Kevin Bacon? Oh, fuck. It's the chick. Look at those titties. That's what I'm talking about. That's a 10 out of 10, right? And that's a titty. Like, if someone came in... The, dude, no joke. Someone came in like that. I, that's funny how I was like, if someone came in like that, I would... That sparked a fucking thing in my brain, guy. But listen, I this chick came in with, like, a fucking titty shirt like that. No bra. Fucking, like, high shorts. Like... It kind of looked like a swimming suit, but it wasn't. It was dressy fancy, and she was fucking hot, dude. Did you come? Dude, she was kind of like you mixed. Come? She looked like she was kind of like Asian, but she wasn't. I don't know. She was she was Asian, but she wasn't, though. Like she was mixed, it, but she might have not have been. I don't know. But she was fucking sexy, dude. And it was so funny every time I walked by her. Hey, he cut his throat with the wrong side of the machete. Why you do that? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, it's really but weird. But anyway... Every time I, like, was by her, like, people would turn, even, like, older ladies and shit, and, like, they wouldn't, like... Well, because she's wearing fucking uh, nothing, man. No, it wasn't like, oh, look at her. It was like a, damn, look at her. <laughs> and it's it was so funny. Like, I was laughing the whole fucking time, and I just wanted to walk up to her and squeeze her titty and slap her ass. <laughs> but, I, but then I would have went to jail. But look at these titties right here. Yeah, right? She probably would have fucked me right there. <laughs> look at those titties. Focus. That was perfect. Hell yeah. Look, he's already dead. If, if I was him, I'd be eating that muff right now. Hell yeah. Fucking come back from the dead just to eat that pussy. Right now. 69. 69 standing up. Have they ever explained that shit. why they cut his uh, neck with the reverse side? Was it like, did they not have a prop knife and they t- didn't want to cut him? Or? Probably. They didn't want to hurt him, but it was, it was very noticeable. <laughs> very noticeable. He would have got a te- he would have had to have gotten a tetanus shot, and they didn't have those back then, baby. As a sweet telly, I like that wood finish. Tellies are cool. It is, dude. I'd come on that. And then I'd spray pine saw on it. Fuck yeah, pine saw. I would too. Make it shiny. And then you got that cheap ass fucking first act from Walmart acoustic. That guy's playing strumming really fast. It doesn't even match the song. I- I'm actually saving up for a new acoustic. <laughs> Fuck that guy, dude. Fuck you. You're fake, dude. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Is that why you're asking me how much mine cost? Uh, probably. What do you have? What's that black one that you have? I forgot. The Esteban. Is it? Yeah. It's from that infomercial where they're like, yeah, learn how to play guitar like Esteban. <laughs> like the world famous Esteban and I never fucking heard of his ass. Like, who the fuck's this guy? Those long ass nails. Imagine him tickling your fucking scrotum sack with those long nails, though. <laughs> so he's Baracado? He's Baracado. I thought that was so silly. See, this is funny. Right. They show up at the bar and they're there for the rest of the movie. They don't even go back. That guy, he never dies. What's Jeff Daniels doing there? Yeah, it looks like him. <laughs> There's that same haircut again. I fucking swear. But yeah, that's weird. This is the only movie in the series where like... Why does she look like Carrie? Yeah, stop talking over me, bitch. What, am I not here? <laughs> you do it all the time like to him. Am I fucking... Am I gonna evaporate into the fucking air? You do it to me. Do I materialize out of nothing? 
Fuck boy. I never noticed a kiss pinball machine. Fuck kiss. <laughs> kiss sucks. I'd fuck them and I'd kiss them. <laughs> Actually, I, I would go see Kiss just because they're uh, they're the inspiration of one of the greatest movies ever made, Detroit Rock City. Fucking cool, fucking little thing here. My mom almost had me at a Kiss concert, baby. That would have been dope. Did she buy you dinner first? Especially if uh, fucking uh, Eddie Furlong what? was there and shit. I'm a dog. Oh, what? I know some guy. Uh, I, I was watching. Yeah, me too. Actually, I was watching a podcast is where I heard the story from. But yeah, but this guy was talking about like, yeah, I have a friend in Hollywood. And she was talking about uh, this one time she was at a restaurant and a bunch of Saudi princes were there. They were eating like a bunch of food. They had like a big banquet at their table and they fucking left with all of this unfinished food. And then out of nowhere, Andy Dick fucking uh, uh, our, our boy Edward Furlong. And then just another a couple other like the the dirty Hollywood types is how she described them showed up and started eating what was left it didn't pay oh. <laughs> because they'd already paid and left that's a uh. genius idea see that's what I got to start doing just go to the restaurant find a, a fucking uh, you know a booth where it has the money sitting there and unfinished food and just start eating pretend like yeah this is my food this is my money I'm not done I just gave you the money uh right now just for fun don't don't bother me that's, that's donk. The most disturbing part of that story is the fact that Furlong and Andy Dick hang out. Why wouldn't you hang out with Andy Dick? He was in, in the army now. Fuck yeah, dude. I think he's a shitty yeah. hack. That's the greatest movie ever made. That's fine with me. Those are the best hacks, baby. Yeah, the shitty ones. That's where you get all the special updates, like the jailbreaks. Fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's a jailbreak, dude. He's a fucking, he's got all that gnarly shit you want that you can't have unless you jailbreak. Yeah, you gotta jailbreak your iPhone. Oh fuck, what's this? I thought this isn't getting cut out. Guess not. No. That's child porn, bro. They don't really kiss in Hollywood movies though. And you can see her like fucking undeveloped nips too. Look at how big their fucking pepperoni sausage is. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, they, fuck, you can see them. They're fucking That's huge. not me, baby. Those are pepperoni they dips. Cut that. She got the puffy pepperoni dips. And look, he saw them too. That little fucking bootleg fucking ash. That fucking creepy boy. Fucking boot ash. Fucking creepy boy. Look, she got so, her underage titties are so fucking hot, they made his fucking creepy cock get hard, I bet. Fucking look at this bootleg fucking Keanu Reeves looking fucking... Don't equate the great Reeves to this creepy boy. Dude, he's a Reeves fucking... He can't hold a fucking candle to the fucking to the Reeves. Hey. The Bruce Campbell Reeves, baby. I'm starting to feel bad calling him creepy boy. <laughs> Bruce Campbell. Mac is sending us fucking Child's Play homemade Chucky doll shit while recording a podcast. I thought you were going to say child porn. I was like, no. fuck. <laughs> no. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> no way, dude. He's like, no, no. Look, she's no. hitting the weeds, though. She's hitting the weeds. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. She's like a realistic. Uh, he That guy looks like fucking John Bon Jovi, man. What, the 14 year old? <laughs> No, hey, I was going to say, I saw that post, that Child's Play thing you posted, and it r reminded me, I'm pissed because I wanted to pre-order the new Child's Play, but it doesn't seem to be getting a 4K release, and I refuse to buy just a Blu-ray. I bet. Fucking I doubt beta. That. I doubt that. Dude, it's not for pre-order anywhere. You can't, it's, it's only- Dude, it'll show up. It used to do that on the Walmart app. I used to not be able to see shit, and then it would show up. I've been trying to get the fucking Midsummer uh, pre-order since the day it came out. It still isn't listed anywhere. Dude, what the fuck is this right here? Look. You enjoying this, Zach? What? Yeah, you can't see her. <laughs> they didn't have to cut that out. Fucking bootleg Bruce Campbell. No, but no, I always pre-order through Best Buy, and uh, it's usually an all-or-none thing. And they've got the DVD, and they've got the Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray combo. There's no 4K. I'll look it up. Watch. Okay, I mean, I'd love it if there if you find one, but it doesn't seem like there is one. Well, look at listen to you, you fucking elitist. Like, I gotta have the 4K, though. I, if I'm gonna pay full price. That's how I am. Fucking Blu-rays, that's how I was. I was like, I'm not buying a fucking DVD. I'll get the Blu-ray of it. It has more shit. You're not gonna pay full price. The Blu-ray is cheaper, bitch. That's what I'm saying. But then, like... Go ahead, baby. No, you gotta have the... I gotta have the best thing out. I might as well. And if I buy the Blu-ray and they fucking end up putting out a 4K later, I'm not gonna want to fucking double dip, so I might as well wait. And just pay a few dollars more. Exactly. See, he, he, that's a smart, that's smart, baby. I don't even own a 4K player. Yeah, I do nothing but 4K. I like it, man. If it's on 4K, I'm going to get 4K. And and what's what's the other movie? Uh, 
The Suspiria remake, that didn't get a 4K release, at least in America, Region 1. And now you just don't own the movie. Nobody fucking cared about that movie after it released. You snooze, you lose. I'm just saying, for example, I actually liked it, but I'm saying, for example, yeah, I'm not going to waste my money on a Blu-ray when I think there should be a 4K out. I'll buy Blu-rays if, you know, there are exceptions where, okay, this isn't going to get a 4K or it's been out prior to 4K and I don't think it's going to get a 4K, but... A movie that's coming out right now, brand new, should have a 4K. Elitist fuck. And I refuse to buy anything. Sit on your tower, you elitist. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Just keep, just keep pouring some crumbs. Uh, us uh, small people will come and eat from the, 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 the elitist hand. Get any crumbs for me? You're just set up on your throne. Let them eat cake, you fucking elitist. I am an elitist when it comes to that stuff, man. Give me the best. There's no excuse. You're a fucking cockboy is what you are. There's no excuse. I just saw a trailer. There's a trailer on I, that says that it's official trailer 4K Ultra HD 2019. That's that's wonderful, Mac. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, I saw it. It's a 4K trailer on YouTube. Yeah, it's not the same. Um, trust me, it's not coming out. Fuck it, Mac. He doesn't read the fine print. Fuck, boy. There was a print? <laughs> fine print. You gotta read it. But no, I agree with you. It's fucking unreal. I mean, you know, the people that are putting this movie out, it should have a 4K and why, but it's not. I don't, maybe it'll come later, but I'm not going to pre-order it. Maybe I'll like bump into a store and see if, you know, they just got them on the shelves or whatever, but. You're going to bump into the store like, oh, fuck, sorry. Yeah, it's because you're fucking, you're beta. You just run into stores. Bump into that fucking store, baby. And that movie uh, 100% will be available for pre-order now because you have to imagine, that movie came out, like, what, a couple months ago at this point? And they're going to have it out for Halloween time, right? It's going to be out in the next couple of The Child's Play. Uh, Yeah, it'll be out soon. So, yeah, it would would be available. If it was on 4K, it would be available to pre-order now. I'm not buying that movie. She has no ass. She she has no ass, man. That's fine. I ain't got no ass either. It's our fucking white jeans. We are not of the superior jeans with the ass. I'm gonna get the Child's Play movie, man. It's it's fucking in the upper. You know where they got the best asses? Brazil. I keep. I watch it all the time. I like it. Brazil. We need to make room for the Brazil. Hold on, no one's talking to you, Zach. What about you like We need to fuck the Brazilians. Zach, shush for a second. Mac, you said you watch it all the time. How do you have it? Yeah. Fire stick. The new child's play? He watches the fucking yeah. camcorder version of it. Dude, no. Once like once it's I always like look I watch them when it's about to release. Like a, a month within release time, someone usually has the fucking Yeah, that's how it always blue, is. But the yeah. right now there is there's no HD version of that yet. Okay. Wait, how is it on Fire Stick though? Um what do you mean? I ha- I hacked it, baby. I used a fucking Gotcha. I used a what's his name? Gotcha. What's his name, baby? Z- Zach, answer it. Who'd I use? I don't fucking know. Who'd I say was a fucking hack? Fucking jailbreak. Andy Dick. Andy Dick. Yeah, I used it. I used an Andy Dick, baby. He Andy dicked it. And I got that shit. Heard he dicked it. I pulled some fucking, uh... They cummed. What's his name? We just saw a 14-year-old cummed. Deus Ex. Wasn't that a bit, uh... Wasn't that a bit of low-hanging fruit to stab the cripple? You know, in the face like that? That fucking Jason don't fuck around. There's no low-hanging fruit for him. Why is she sucking on that... Why is she sucking on that neck testicle? Because why wouldn't you? That's fucking hot. That neck rock, baby. You lick that fucking Adam's apple? Yeah, you're watching a, a, a pirate of her. I didn't realize. I was like, oh, you said fire stick, and I thought maybe it was already out on demand or something. No, fire stick. I, I hacked it. Gotcha. And now I'm in trouble because I've hacked and I've smoked weed. So now you guys fucked me. <laughs> Thanks for that. I didn't do anything to you. Is that- Just kidding, guys. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> Cut that out. Now he's uh, see why doesn't he put that mask on? That mask looks too much like his real face at the end of the movie. But anyway, yeah, I fucking I've been watching a bunch of fucking yeah. Fuck, fuck a Jason's a fuck boy. Why don't he just normally walk? How is he smart enough to sneak? He he probably is a sneak. They probably hear him. They just think he's one of their friends. He's the sneak king. Exactly. That game was fucking donk. Hey, what do you get when you take a fourteen year old and Kevin Bacon? Uh what? I don't know. 
I don't know. It just sounded like the beginning of the joke. <laughs> I was trying to think. I was like, okay, what's a pun with Kevin Bacon's name? That can be- Look at this guy. It was perfect. That was a perfect pun. That was a perfect joke. Dude. It wasn't because there was no fucking. <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> there was no ending. Exactly. Like I fucking. Do- it made you think, though, right? Fuck you. And look at this guy in the red and black. Why was he there? <laughs> what the fuck was he doing there? That's what I want to know. Yeah, fuck it. He looks like he's up to something. If you ask me. Mm-hmm. He should have been the star of this movie. Jeff Daniels should have bought him a beer. Fucking Daniel. Look how he's sucking on it, dude. Is he drinking Rolling Rock? Then he got, like, Phoebus and Fernie, or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> Phine- Phineas and <laughs> Phineas and Ferb? What? What'd you say? Is that what their names are? I don't fucking know. That's what that guy looks like. Yeah, he does. The big fucking weird schnoz. <laughs> he's got the big fucking nose and big smile and fucking big eyes. Who are you talking about? Is it, was it Phineas and Ferb? I think that was her name. I think so. I think so. I thought he was thinking of Beavis and Butthead. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. It was a cartoon. <laughs> it's some cartoon. I don't know if it's on anymore. Like, Was it on Nickelodeon? It was Disney, I think. I think it was like five or so years are ago. You, that used to Are be. you sure? I think, it was, I think it was Nickelodeon. Hey, her license plate changed. <laughs> Wasn't that her license plate that we noticed earlier? Only you noticed that shit. I think that was a truck. That was a truck. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. Fuck. Why are they all drinking Heinekens? That guy looked like Dwight Yoakam, but fat. Would you fuck Dwight Loacum? No. You know who... Loadcom... Loadcom? <laughs> you know, you so know who cute. else is fat? You brought it up earlier. That fucker that they got to play Varg, that Jewish guy? They Why'd they get this fu- ch- chubby fuck to play Varg? Why not? Because he wasn't chubby. Piss off Varg. That'll be funny. Well, that's, it almost seems like a, a a dig on purpose. Like we're gonna get a, exactly. We're gonna get a. I would hire a Jewish guy that's really fat. A Jewish guy. We're gonna make him fat, just so that little bitch has to cry about it. And we're gonna make him a total fucking bitch. They. That's the only thing about that movie. I don't know if I like it or if it's like the small knock. I think it makes it more fun. But the, everybody in the movie look like total fucking clowns. And I'm they sure all are. to a degree, you know, I to to a degree it's legit, but I bet they you they literally ha- wear makeup. They are clowns, but they, but they hammed it up. Yeah, it's funny. They were the original juggalos. Exactly. And they even have to make up a fake name for their face paint. Whenever they wear it, corpse paint, corpse paint. it just makes them feel better. I, I'm not wearing face paint. It's corpse paint. <laughs> I ain't never Fuck seen boys. a corpse with juggalo paint on their face. Why is it a corpse paint? I've never seen a dead body. that looks like that. It doesn't make sense. Are they trying to like imply like, yeah, this is the kind of shit they put on dead bodies whenever they're doing the visitation shit? So if they if in the if during that era, they they pen the term corpse paint. But you have someone like Gene Simmons that had very similar makeup predating that. Does that mean Gene Simmons wears corpse paint? Gene Simmons invented everything. He invented that fucking metal symbol. Why does he hold his knife like that? I think Michael Myers holds his knife like that, too. What's the deal? Yeah, fuck it. They ripped it off. Fucking, it's like the arrow di- damnation. <laughs> the arrow damnation. How else yes. would you fucking hold it? The wind. How else would you hold it? It makes it fucking stab faster, baby. It's like holding a Glock sideways, man. It's like just fucking cool. How else would you hold it? That's how you would hold it. You, yeah, you just fucking, you put it up in like you're getting ready to stab at something. Because like, maybe like if you would jab straight down with it, like normally, like holding it. It would just like it wouldn't feel right, you know what I'm saying? You get more grip when you turn it sideways, baby. Plus, it's faster. Yeah, you can have more leverage when you're pulling down than whenever you're pushing up, probably. Yeah, instead of making them fucking up and down, you go left and right. Yeah, baby, and you get deeper cuts. It's probably pretty fucking hard to stab somebody. He probably takes some muscle, so he probably puts his whole body into it. Yeah, he turns it sideways. All right, Neil deGrasse Tyson, fucking Bill Nye, we got it. Thank you. <laughs> well, you're not saying anything. Say okay. Mythbusters. Well, I don't agree with you. I'm not gonna say okay. <laughs> Why? What's there to not agree about? Because it's retarded. You're holding a knife up- upside down. All it right, looks Aaron. weird. We're we're all gonna buy fancy knives. You're gonna you're gonna hold it like you hold it whenever you're walking. Like, uh, oh yeah, I'm just gonna hold it up. So and then you're gonna be stabbing at somebody all retarded. Like, what am I thinking of? Okay, you hold it like Norman Bates in the Psycho. He holds it where the the fatter side, the blunt side is on the top, right, and the the sharp side is on the bottom. He was holding it backwards, where oh. he was raising it up, and the sharp edge of the knife was facing the ceiling. It's probably because he can't fucking see through that one hole in his fucking bag. Bitch. I don't know why you're defending him when you saw him slash a guy's neck with a machete backwards, too. I mean, the guy's clearly got he, issue. Hey. He's a fucking retard, so why are you fucking retard shaming him? Listen, hold on before I forget. And I forgot. Fuck. 
<laughs> Dude, I had a fucking perfect. That's bad. Marijuana affects the memory. Okay, so it has to be the. T okay, so how long was he holding the knife? I don't know. Or did he just pick it up? For like eight years, I think. No, I, like, because if he just picked it up, maybe he didn't see it and he just grabbed it and didn't fucking care where it was because he's retarded and just fucking stabbed at him. He's got that one hole. He doesn't have any peripheral vision with that fucking bag on his head. I don't think that would matter. You could still feel to turn it. He wasn't feeling it, though. But he's a retard, so. Yeah, he is retarded, so we're, we're <laughs> retard shaming him. See, look, he thinks he's hidden there. He thinks no one can see him. <laughs> well, yeah, like, see, he missed that shot. He missed that spear, so that explains everything. <laughs> he can't see. Dude, dude, he's playing Tenchu and shit, or Manhunt, and he's like, oh, yeah, my little icon is in black. He can't see me. But it's like, yeah, I clearly can. Your, your question is fucking <laughs> answered, baby. He's blind, and he can't see, and he fucking was holding it wrong. We just saw that with the spear. He didn't even fucking stab her. He was way off. It's a fuck boy. He's just a retarded fucking blind kid. The blind kid? Yeah, he only has one eye, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but why wouldn't he just cut another hole in the bag? Why is he making it harder on himself? Hold on a minute. Because he likes to freaking cripple himself. <laughs> he, he's the underdog. I've just noticed that Aaron likes to ask fucking some tough, strong, funny questions after question. Like, we just answered three questions from now, and he just, like... You think they're funny and strong because you're high. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but I've it makes you think, like... Oh, did this you... This is the third time he's done this. Did you actually say that? What do you mean? I'm confused. Are you saying you answered that, and I didn't hear you, and I asked the question that you answered? We answered two questions, and then you go to another question. What was this new question again? He's learning new shit. Well, no, to be fair, Mac, you were drowning. I couldn't hear you for a You sounded like you were really far away for a moment. But all I was saying is, how come he doesn't just fucking cut another eye hole in that mask? Why does he got to make it harder on himself? I just told you already. He only has one eye. Uh, he has two. Haven't he you seen him? He looks like he only has one eye. The other fucking side's fucked. Not there. It probably works. I think, I think he has two at the end of this, doesn't he? No. He's not supposed to, but they give it to him. Just like how they change the way he looks in every fucking movie. You don't fucking know what they were supposed to give him or not. They made this movie. I do know, baby. I was. Whatever we they were there, goes. Zach. Don't you, re Zach? Remember, we were there. Oh yeah. Fuck, dude. Trying to blow our cover. Shit, Illuminati, baby. He looks more like sloth in this movie. Yeah, we were fucking. We were walking with Jesus and his cross too, Aaron. You don't know how fucking old we are. We were hooked on fucking meth when you were hooked on phonics, bitch. She looks like Carrie for real, though, right? Yeah, anyone? No. Carrie, the, the horror movie? Yeah, we can't we can't hear you. You're all drowning out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, that's why I, I... I don't know. Like, it's been happening to, like, everyone. Well... Can you guys hear me now? All that's important is it's happening to us. That's why I didn't hear you answer that question before. Yeah, right now I can. I was saying she looks like Carrie. Yeah, she's she's a little prettier than uh, Sissy Spacek. She, Sissy Spacek looks like fucking Skeletor. Yeah, she's fucking scary as fuck. That's why that movie was so terrifying when I was a kid. I think Satan's fucking up our, our audio because we were talking shit about Varg. Probably. <laughs> He's the true Satanist. <laughs> and he got his fucking YouTube channel finally taken down. It only took a million years. He had a YouTube channel? That's not fucking metal. Dude, it was the most fucking entertaining YouTube channel ever. It was a vlog, and it would be him on his farm talking bat shit, fucking crazy communist bullshit. It was just... He was really funny, and uh, yeah, they finally they finally got to him and, and got and took his channel down. I mean, the guy basically glorified what he did. The guy's the guy's acting like he's some fucking enlightened soul giving you advice. I got away with murder. I, I even I think he didn't get away. He went to prison. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Well, he still got away, dude. The guy served no time. He escaped twice, and he still didn't get any time stacked on. Plus, that was, uh, that was one of their prisons where you're basically in a hotel room the whole time. You can record albums. Yeah, it was nothing. The guy had internet access. I remember in the MySpace days, the guy had a blog, and he had internet access. And this guy, fuck, and this was like, what? I mean, when was MySpace? We're talking 15 years later, not that much later. He had escaped from jail like two times during his blogging, and he still went back to blogging. Like, they never, they didn't take any shit from him. He didn't get any uh, time added onto his sentence. And then he gets out of jail and he fucking owns a farm and he's living the good life, you know, just sort of living off the earth. Sounds like shit to me. Own a farm. With a YouTube channel. Yeah, what was I was going to say, though. It was funny and I forgot what it was. Fucking Aaron always stepping on my uh, comedic genius. Yeah. Fucking Aaron. Fucking Aaron. 
See, this would have been a fucking uh, 10 out of 10 commentary, but now it's, it's sucked down to fucking nine just because of that. I have said a tenth of what you said on this commentary. You were going hardcore. Exactly. That's why it's so good. It's why I'm exhausted right now. <laughs> what? Why are you so exhausted? I'm so confused. <laughs> because it's exhausting listening to Zach talk a mile a minute. Like, not nah, shut up. It wears him out not speaking. <laughs> it does. No, and then hearing you and Mac. Well, because it you're talking so fast and then Max trying to keep up and you guys are just talking over each other and it's like it's fucking wearing me down wow now he's bringing me into this <laughs> yeah nobody will know that when they hear it now he's bringing me into this first he's talking about <laughs> you and then he brings me into this dude I think his window is like shut and he doesn't have AC again like what the <laughs> fuck is going on I'm getting attacked for no reason. Which reminds me, which reminds me, uh, fucking send me your Halloween five and that'll be the last, uh, fucking episode. We'll, just, we'll, we'll start our, uh, we'll, we'll actually start our, uh, our Halloween shit. So we're ahead by one, at least touch the pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wait, you know, for real, you want me to send you that? Yeah. It'll be uh, the fucking last month of September. And then we can start recording the fucking uh, Halloween shit. No, that can't be an that can't be an official episode. That can't actually bonus maybe, but that's come on. It's like not even a full commentary, and it's rather embarrassing to be frank. Yeah, it's fuck. Yeah, delete it. It is a full commentary. We finished it. I'm. A, I think I'd be okay, but I don't want. To, I don't think it should take the place of a real episode. God damn it! I wanted a fucking week off. <laughs> I always gotta fucking work for this bitch. I'm a fucking, sl he's a slave driver, that's what he is. He's running a fucking sweatshop. <laughs> Fuck boy. <laughs> fucking tired of the sweaters, dude. He's, he's just trying to get me to fucking uh, dry out and be like, man, I'm, I'm starting to lose. I'm starting to lose sanity. <laughs> like your grandma's pussy. Look. All right, Zach, you, you take a month off. It's like a vault episode, kind of like the possession episode. No, bitch, you work. Now, did she piss her pants or did that rat piss? <laughs> <laughs> because it's not clear in the movie. It looks like iced tea. I like to think she pissed. Because if you think about it, it seems like it's setting up that she pissed. Because the rat, if the rat pissed, why the fuck would that have let Jason know she was under there? The only reason she would know, the only reason Jason would know, is if she, she pissed. I don't think rat piss is that deep, baby. I don't think that much piss would fit in that rat. Exactly. What were you talking about, Aaron? I don't know, man. I don't even remember. You said if you think about it. I have no fucking clue. You never get a good look at her crotch for the rest of the movie, so she might have pissed. And she's got dark pants anyway, you wouldn't see. Yeah. See, look at look how afraid he is of that. He's not that retarded. He knows the chainsaw will fuck him up. And look, she, she could have just uh, fucking taken that chainsaw to his body, but she let it fucking just, she let it be a bitch and turn off. WWF shit, man. She went straight for the chair. It hit her. It, she noticed, like, oh shit, he's got a metal plate in his fucking wrist, and I hit it. Uh, you could have just turned it back on and stuck it in his fucking forehead. But no. So yeah, fuck it. Uh, this this movie, it's donk. What do you? What are your final thoughts of this movie, guys? It's Mackie and final Sawyer. Final thoughts. Oh. We're not even done yet, baby. We're yeah. I'm still. Where would I be? Uh, you, he's fucking talking. He was doing the mile per hour thing, and I didn't want you to get mad at me again and attack me. That's what I. No, I wasn't mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> you attacked me. Calm down, baby. Calm down, baby. It's a, see. Look, hey, hey. Are you sure, you're not. Hey, high? there's there's that fucking uh. The, look, the water. That swamp. Yeah, we're near mud butt. That means she's close to Jason's house, though. Fucking scary. How do you know all this stuff? Were you there? Spooky shit. Spooky shit. Dude, I'm so fucking high right now, it's not even funny. Let us know, like, all the good thoughts that come to your mind while you're high. <sighs> fucking boobs. Fuck yes. Ch uh, mint cookies. See, fucking, fucking Mac, Mac ruined it, because Mac and Zach was supposed- We were supposed to get high for the first time on podcast, and he fucked it up. He got high without me. I couldn't wait, dude. Now you're gonna it. get high? When are you gonna move on to fucking crack and shit? When does it stop? Uh, I will let you know soon. We will let you know soon. How much are you going to do for this uh, podcast, Zach? Anything it takes. I mean, we're Illuminati, so anything it takes to get famous. We, we talked about doing a uh, fucking shroom commentary. Yeah, they told us to do this, and then we would get more likes. So We don't even have to watch a movie. We, we're just going to set up a mirror in front of us and do shrooms, because we heard that's the worst thing you can do while you're tripping on shrooms is look in a mirror. So we're going to do that. It's going to be donk. That would be pretty alluring. Don't you, How many people you think would click on the first ever? Fucking better. Let's, let's, hopefully everybody, because I don't like doing this shit for no reason. Let me finish a, 
you got to let me finish what I'm going to say, man. Well, I already know what you're going to ask, so I, I, we could just cut corners. What was I going to say? You were going to ask how many people would actually click on that. Bef- before somebody can actually end on a quip or something or finish off what they're saying, you have to butt in and jump in because you're going a million miles a minute. I get why Mac was being quiet a minute ago. I'm all on Ritalin and shit. You probably are on all the fucking meds you take. <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> I've been taking the performance-enhancing drugs. What's that called? I took the... uh. What's that one? Adderall. Adderall. You took the the smiling Bob. See, this is my perf- performance enhancing. Uh, I do podcasts, so uh, would it make me better at doing podcasts? What I'm saying makes you more annoying. You, you think you'd make that eye hole at least bigger? The one eye hole because he, <laughs> because he can't even. Have, where's his peripheral vision? Quit fucking shitting on him. He doesn't need to see it peripherally. He's fucking retarded. He just, he, he's like a fucking, you know, he gets tunnel vision, and that's what that signifies. Signifies. Why does he care what he looks like? Well, that'd be funny, though, if he's like, oh, hey, my mom's back alive. I'm going to fuck her. Like, if we find out that's all he wanted the whole time was just to fuck his mom. Like, he came back from the dead. He goes to fuck his mom, and he sees her get beheaded. He's like, I can't fuck her now. Or I can at least fuck her head, but then she takes her head. Or no, he did, he did keep her head, so he could have been fucking the head before he put it in her fucking fridge. It didn't look like uh, Bessie Palmer when he uh, gave it to her. I think that came from fucking it. He fucking, uh, he, his, he, his cummings like, made the muscles kind of like retract, and it, it resembled a different human's face, I think. It wasn't that they got a different actor. That's all very good. Yeah, that's what I think. Very good. See, look, he still has it, too. He could, he could jerk off on it all night. That would have done more than that. What a bitch. Jenny! Hey, Jenny! You think that's because he couldn't see? Jenny! I'll save you, Jenny! Fucking stupid-ass Forrest Gump here. Look at that battle of the retards. Forrest Gump versus Jason Voorhees. Has anyone seen the new Dave Chappelle show on the Netflix? We were fucking talking about that. I was all. talking about his fat-ass fucking huge shirt. Yeah. I was probably away getting something when you told me to go get that pipe. I thought it was funny. That's what I was saying. I was mocking his his fucking huge shirt. I was like, Chappelle, nice shirt. Is it coming your size? Oh, yeah. Huge shirt. Okay, never mind. Which is his own joke. I used his own joke against him. See, I think he's one of those guys that likes to lie and say he's taller than he is. Like, uh, he lies on his driver's license and shit. He's like, I'm like 6'8". And people are like, oh, yeah, stand next to me, Chappelle. And he's like, I can't, can't. I don't want you to see that I'm just as tall as the guy that's only five foot nine. I think he's one of those guys, personally. Maybe. Guess what? I want to read comments so Do it. Zach can not talk for a second. <laughs> listen, listen. The movie ain't over yet, baby. The, wick- <laughs> the Wicker Man commentary. Uh, Ishmael. Prim- <laughs> oh, wait. Did we read Ishmael Premier? We talked about that last episode, right? Ishmael Premier. Metal-, Metal Gear Solid. Ishmael Premier, the French name. I think you... Uh, Corrected me on how to pronounce it. So I think I did read the comment where he was. My name's Ishmael. Call me Ishmael. Yeah. Yeah. He's hanging out in that fucking boat trying to catch that big ass dick. That Moby Dick. Hey, we should rewrite Moby Dick and make it Moby's dick and make it about the singer Moby. Like his dick gets a mind of its own. And like leaves his body, jumps in the water and shit. And then a sailor's trying to capture it. The dog. Okay. Fantastic. Anyway. Uh, I think I read Ishmael's. No, I didn't. That's right. Ishmael was on the last one. He uh, he was the deep end guy. So Ishmael Premier, uh, he also said, holy shit, Aaron has a child. Not the thing I was expecting to hear out of this crazy video. I don't have a kid. I think I was just making a broad statement like a hypothetical. Max, a dad. He's the only one of us that's a dad in this uh, group here. Oh, yeah. On the Wicker Man commentary as well, Mutineer, our boy Mutineer, he says, I love me some Halloween 4. I have to admit, it has a lot to do with nostalgia. It's got a great opening setup, though. If I had my way, uh, Rev Slayer would have had a bigger part. One thing I never noticed uh, when I was younger was how Loomis does sort of just check out of the film for long stretches of time, and the plot meanders a lot from the midpoint on. He's got to take a nap. See, that's funny, though, because, you know, what's fun is that Loomis disappears from the original movie for a long stretch of time, too. Yeah, I mean, he's old. He's got to sleep. I th- it was one of those things like, oh, he's the most famous guy we got. Well, let's just hire him for a day. We'll shoot all the scenes in a day. So that was probably still happening in part four. 
Probably. Uh, this was, I say, this will be controversial, but Daniel Harris outacts Jamie Lee from part one when it comes to freaking out and acting scared, especially for being a 10 year old at the time. I would agree with that. I wouldn't fight him on that. Uh, she does good. Uh, of course, part one is overall superior. Oh, yeah, the Wicker Man. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. The prank, the prank phone calls improved it greatly. Yeah, we, we thought it did. Yeah. Uh, Halloween 4 is... Halloween Mutineer went back to comment on our Halloween 4 commentary. Um, he said, Halloween has to have the most screwed up multiple timelines of any series. Jamie Lloyd timelines beat the hell out of the H2- H2O resurrection timeline, though, even with the god-awful part 6. Ugh. Hey, look, he's got a handle of a shovel. Why? That's... Because that's all he's got, man. He's got he's to work with what he has. I mean, you had the shovel. Why'd you just uh, take the handle off of it? Take the whole shovel. I don't know. People hate part five, but it's a damn masterpiece compared to either version of part six, in my opinion. I don't. I think they're both shit. I think it's all shit. I think it's too hard to really split and decide which one's better. Five or six. I don't fucking know. They're terrible. Oh, they're both great movies, great films. They're, they're both terrible. They're, they're so good, it made fucking Aaron not even able to finish it. Uh, when we did part five, he was so overwhelmed with the greatness of that movie. <laughs> it, it really did make tensions run high. I think the movie had something to do with it too. It probably played a little bit. If it was like a great movie, it wouldn't have, Zach wouldn't have resorted to trolling if the movie was good. Let's see. Let's see if, okay, he's got, he's got two eyes. Mac was wrong. No, look, it's, it's fucked. It's fake. Look how fake that eye is, dude. Yeah, it's the makeup. He's still got two so eyes. No, dude, it doesn't work. It's dead. Like, it doesn't work. Yeah, it kind of implies, like, uh, like, it, yeah, it's the dead eye. Why didn't he use both of his cuts then? He knew what he was doing. He probably used that actually to fuck stuff, but then he's like, eh, I don't want to cut this one out. I'll just put it on anyway. Yeah, he probably, I, I think he was probably just really busy and forgot. <laughs> he's like, oh, it's, it's 930. I gotta go jack off in the toilet now. All good points. Anyway, Mutineer, he also says on Halloween 4, they need to set up the militia so Meeker has an excuse to leave the house later and the mil- militias arrive near the climax of the film. Poor Ted Hollister, though. Most of the plot later in the film seems to revolve around finding excuses for Loomis and Meeker to be out of the picture most of the time. He's obviously given us timestamps uh, and commenting on certain shit. You know what? It's okay that we talked over the ending of that movie uh, with uh, comments because when we do part three, we'll get to watch the ending of this movie again. Yeah, I mean... It, it's Fun fact, though. Uh, she originally uh, opened her eyes right here, but they cut it out. They thought it was too goofy. Because it would have been a lot like, was it paying homage to the first one? Like, we're going to end with a gag like that every time? Yeah. And you could tell that that's like an actress set there. It's it's different than the head that showed earlier. Yeah. Why couldn't they get that guy to give Ronnie you some advice and have Freddy not wink at the end of Freddy vs. Dead? Like, yeah, that's that's cheesy. Freddy vs. Dead? Freddy vs. Jason is what I meant. What is it? Is it a sequel to Ash vs. Is this Evil Dead now? Freddy shows up? Hey, the Wicker Man. Maybe Zach will let me actually finish the comment before he fucking butts in. Then Maybe you'll let yourself finish the comment before you talk about Freddy's dead. I read the comment. I was done with the comment, bitch. I'm on to a new one now. And I'm going to read this comment, and when it's done, that's when you interject and you say something. Anyway, Adfo. He says... You guys should totally do Joyride. It's one of my favorite movies and easily Paul Walker's best movie in my opinion. Also still waiting for Schizophreniac 2 commentary. Make it happen. Great commentary as always, fellas. Hope all is good. See, uh, Aaron likes to pretend like, oh yeah, Zach, he he brings nothing to the table. He he brought fucking Schizophreniac. That was a shitty movie that nobody was ever going to care about. And fuck it, uh, what do you know? People, uh, they care about it. I... One guy cares about it. It's no, the only fucking movie that they've actually asked me to put on the internet illegally so they can fucking watch it. I rest my case. Actually, somebody else voted for it too. Uh, case closed. Feline Fatale, she seconded the motion and she said, I vote for Joyride 2. R.I.P. Paul Walker. Hell yeah. So, yeah, no, we have to do it. Maybe we should not. Maybe that should be our last official episode before we start knocking out the October Blitz stuff. But it kind of feel weird not having Josh on for that, but. Maybe we shouldn't necessarily wait for him because it's getting hard to align all these schedules up. Plus, we got to go on Josh's show anyway to do to do one oh, here soon. You know, oh, we got to get Josh on for that, baby. He doesn't like me. He's never he never lets me on his show. I just think oh, it's a t- like it's a timing thing. I don't know. It's it's just hard. No, it's not, dude. He fucking doesn't like he me. He hates you. Actually, he told me mutineer on the dude shit tons of Halloween four. Dude, he left us a shit ton. You're into this movie, bro. 
There's a, there's a whole lot here. Um, he says at the 58 uh, f- and five second mark, he says, Zach is a Bushman of the Kalahari. Sounds good. Like this country used to. You have to get up to porn, Aaron. Uh, it was the reason for the Bush massacre. That's one evil porn did. What? That's one evil porn did visit upon us. The Bush massacre. Oh, the yeah. whole- they, they got rid of the Bush. You're like, look, you're in your own little world. You don't even understand the porn lingo. Okay, that's what he means. Though I don't know why you don't like no to- topiary around the snapper. <laughs> what? Okay. Topiary? Exactly. Or he doesn't like the cotton candy. Anyway, back to the film. Cops do it by the book, quote, this always had a sexual connotation to me. Why is she, yeah. why is she wearing that around? And it's weird her dad's profession is involved. You think her dad's fucking her? Dude, he's talking about the chick with the huge tits, the huge jugs in that movie. I, if I was her dad, I'd be fucking. See, that's not even funny. I can't go there. Uh, it's okay. Uh, that chick has some daddy issues, I think. Brady is a real dumbass here. Don't do the sheriff's daughter in his own living room, man. Yeah, it's pretty fucking stupid. Maybe they're both getting off on the danger or something. Anyway, on to more important plot developments. When they cut away, when she pulls that bra off, biggest plot flaw in the whole film. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he also says at the one hour, 12 minute mark, 32 seconds, I read somewhere they ordered the masks and when they arrived, they look like the white haired mask from later in the film during the elementary school sequence. Uh, I think that they just had no time or budget and had to convert the masks themselves. Dying yeah, the hair white, black them. and such. Yeah. 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 We've heard about that. It's fucked up. Um, the shotgun pinning Kelly to the wall is more believable than the knife pinning the dude to the wall in part one. That knife wasn't even long enough to reach the wall. Maybe the shotgun pin was a homage to that. I always thought it was kind of a homage. Mm-hmm. He says, when I was 12, a buddy and I tricked his grandma into renting caged heat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He says, he says, the clerk looked at her all weird and then looked at us and we just smiled like nothing was up. But he didn't say a thing and rented it out to us anyway. The small victories of the pre-internet age. Dude, I have stories like that, too, where uh, we used to get away with renting all kinds of gnarly shit that um, mm-hmm. and my grandmother didn't really know any better and stuff. And and it, it's kind of like the story about I told you I bought MK2. I've said it on a podcast where the dude fucking saved me. Like he fucking lied to my mom for me so yeah. I could buy the game. Go back and listen to the Mac and Zach first episode that came out on the the fucking Revival House recently. We talk about uh, video store stories, and Mac had one where uh, Family Video let him uh, rent fucking the Phases of Death movie or something. It's pretty long. Yeah, it's one of those things, going back to what we were talking about earlier, it was different in the 80s or the 90s. It was just different back then. Like You could get away with just renting shit that you were too young for and stuff. Um, Everything's so strict nowadays. Uh, anyway, thanks, man. Mutineer, that's a shit ton of comments you left on those couple of commentaries, especially Halloween. Thank you for going through the archives and checking out all the old content on the Wicker Man commentary. Again, we've got oh, Josh James. Does he even count? He says, I can't believe you toads pranked my boss. <laughs> he says, I guess I should be glad you didn't dox me at least. Also, it sounds like Aaron has a secret admirer. Good thing Aaron swings both ways. Hardy har har. Okay, so I think that was Adrian Mendoza that we played that voice message from. I think that's what he's referring to. But yeah, I didn't realize that was his fucking boss. Yeah. Right? It sounded like a kid. It sounded like a younger dude, and I guess his boss is supposed to be older. But I didn't mean to do it. We didn't think... uh, We thought I thought he was going to be working that night. I thought it was going to be a lot better, but it was still kind of funny. I'm glad he didn't... uh, I kind of pulled a Zach when you pranked my friend and you kind of got violent and I'm like, Oh fuck. I kind of did the same thing. I made, I said I'd break his legs or something. Ah, I shouldn't have did that, but I'm glad it went over well. Mm-hmm. Uh, wicker man commentary block block. Oh, 69. <laughs> That's the name. He says 69. <laughs> yeah, check out wild thing. 1998 for the bacon eaters meat. I haven't thought about that movie in a long time. There's also that three way scene in the pool. That's kind of a big cock tease. Cause it, you know, they don't get like naked or anything. I think Nev Campbell and Denise Richards make out and shit with uh, Matt Dillon, I think, who was the other guy in the sandwich. Oh, Matt Dillon. He's a sexy bitch. That movie's not that good, though. It's not. It's not. And Bill Murray is a disappointment. in it. it's like, why were you in this? That was directed by the same guy that made uh, Henry Porsche of a serial killer, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember reading about that, too. I it sh- I wanted it to be better, but, you know, it is what it is. It's one of those movies where there's so many it twists that by like the third twist, I'm like, Aaron, I stop fucking caring. Mac talking. <laughs> Mac, are you talking to yourself over there? What were you saying? Yeah, I was. You'll you'll hear it later. No, because we're going to edit it out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Wicker Man commentary. Fuck. You got me. 
<laughs> I'm really hurt right now. <laughs> I just snorted. That was a nice, <laughs> that was a nice snort, baby. Way to do that on my cock. All right. William Lowry, he says the prank calls strike back. This is Wicker Man again. Say, could y'all prank call the Little Caesars I used to work at? Little Caesars? We should call Lil Caesars and pretend to be Stone Cold Steve Austin wants to buy some Lil Caesar. Kiefer Sutherland. Hey, I think you just nominated yourself. You should. You want to do it as a request? We'll answer the... We should start doing prank call requests. That'd be funny. <laughs> I'm looking for Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> so we'll do that. Tell you what. Tell you what. So let me finish reading the comments, William, and then we'll end this podcast. We'll we'll give that a, we'll give that a college try. Uh, that's a good idea. And I think if that goes over well... I don't know. Feel free to keep giving us suggestions if there's people you want us to prank. Uh, Adrian Mendoza, he says, this is a funny commentary. I love the prank phone calls. Just asking, not recommending, but will Mandy be part of Cinema Enema in the future? Maybe. Hell yeah. I mean. Why is not, baby? Why is not? Why not? I, it's a movie I've been wanting to watch because I know it's a lot of people like it. Some people I know don't like it. Um, sounds like I have to watch it anyway just to see what's up put my own stamp on it uh what else we got here army of darkness commentary that was our last one william lowry he says y'all beat me to the punch on this one i'm doing the evil dead movies this month for commentaries and lo and behold what do i see joking aside y'all should do the director's cut of army of darkness there's so much stuff they cut out from the theatrical cut it's kind of ridiculous not to mention it has the original i slept too long ending which i prefer over the smart ending i kindly disagree Y'all brought up the Evil Dead games, and I'll be reviewing those and Ash vs. Evil Dead on my website this October, among other things. I'm curious to see what this new game is like, and I was wondering why Ash wasn't in the first uh, character DLC pack in Mortal Kombat, and now I know. P.S. That is Bridget Fonda playing Linda in the abridged recap at the beginning. I knew it was. I don't know why I couldn't confirm that, but uh, yeah, I don't know why they hired her for like a two-second bit where she didn't even talk. It's kind of weird, but... No, for sure. I like the theatrical ending better. I'd have to watch the director's cut to see what other shit they took out. Besides, we the can ending. do every uh, fucking version of that movie. That's what's so fun about freaking like the fact that we barely talk about the movie when we do a commentary. I, I yeah. I don't think we talked about this movie at all. We did a little bit. Nah. We talked about all the noteworthy stuff, like the chicks' tits, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the underage, the underage tits. girl. The jailbait. Fucking retarded ass Jason with his one hole and fucking doing the wrong side of the knife. <laughs> continuing uh, continuing on Army of Darkness, uh, Feline Fatale just quotes, she's a sight for dead eyes. Thank you, Feline Fatale. Um, appreciate you commenting yeah. a lot. Uh, Witch King, he says, Dr. Zip chews up and Peppy Cola. Fruity Loops, Honey Nut ODOs, and of course, Lickety Splits. What the fuck are you talking about? My friend. Yeah, we get some fucked up people. That's on dog. Here. Like, the fuck? They don't even like. It's like they're all illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> that should be on a shirt, baby. Like, what the fuck are you saying, you fucking weirdos? <laughs> Why do we have weirdos? Fuck you guys. I love you. Oh, he's talking about the fucking off-brand sodas. Remember we were having that conversation? Oh yeah, that's dog. And he's talking. Okay, he's listing his doctor, his off-brand sodas that he knows, and his off-brand cereals. That okay? So. I'm going to apologize on behalf of Mac because he just insulted you. Mac is a fuck boy. <laughs> he just insulted you for no reason. I was thinking Mac just didn't understand it because he's high. Well, no, it does look weird when you're not thinking about the context. It's just like Dr. Zip chews up Pepe like he's having a stroke in text form. Like, what's going on here? But no, we were talking about off-brand sodas and shit like that. So he must have had uh, Dr. Zip. <laughs> That's donk. Chews up? I've never heard of that. You know, a lot of the shit's- I would never drink something that told me to chew it. <laughs> choose. Like, I choose you. Choose oh, up. Oh, okay. So I think uh, that must be like Seven Up, I guess. And it, you know, a lot of these like weird brands are regional. And he says Peppy Cola, like Peppy the Star Fox, like Pepe the Frog, or Pepe the, the Frog, the PP Frog, Our Fruity pass. Loops, Honey Nut Odios, <laughs> and of course Lickety Splits. See, that sounds like a soda that has like fucking uh, SpaghettiOs in it or something. <laughs> Odeos, uh, right lickety now. splits. That's I guess uh, are off-brand Oreos. Lickety splits. That's my new porn coming out. He says, "I w I wish Mikto was one of the magic words that actually kind of fits Ash." Mikto, yeah. Mikto. He says, Mictow. and he also says that he did. He saw Iron Maiden recently as well because we were talking about Maiden and stuff. Uh, once again, hey, my favorite comment of the whole week. 
on the mass commentary, uh, a gentleman who is not from the east side of the world, he says it's John Horgian. He simply says, fuck you. I love it. Fuck you. Why? Why fuck us? You got it. If you can't just say fuck you, tell us why fuck us. Hey, Eddie Murphy. Fuck you. Fuck you. I think it's one of those. I think he's just he's quoting our own quotes back at us. He's a big fan. Okay, that's all we're going to assume because it's, it's, it's either that or you thought you were going to watch the movie or something, which if that's the case, fuck you, you know, uh, that'd be funny to make a shirt with a, a collage of all the comments that are like, fuck you, because they thought the, we, we put the movie on there. It'd be an ugly ass shirt, but it'd be funny. It'd be covered like top to bottom with all this bullshit. Um, and you couldn't wear it anywhere because it's just fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. But anyway, oh, I'd wear it to a funeral. Uh, Army of Darkness, uh, Adrian Mendoza, you left us a slew of comments. I'm going to go ahead and read those. The guy who directed The Crying Game would direct Interview with the Vampire a year later. Full circle. We are talking about Interview. I'm, I'm considering making Interview with the Vampire our next cinema enema. I'm considering it because Zach's never seen it, and I'm actually really shocked he hasn't. And it's either going to be that or The Crying Game because Zach or we've never seen it. Neither one of us has seen The Crying Game. Hell yeah. And if we have to watch that, maybe that should, maybe that should be a cinema enema. Um, I'm going to watch the crying game myself probably this week. And then I'll kind of decide between the two, which I think will make a better cinema anima. Um, he says, I don't get Terrence Malick films either. Aaron, I agree. I think you should model those new BTM shirts and post them on Instagram. Winky face. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, <laughs> itch. he says Bowie most definitely had gay sex, but I don't think he was either gay or bisexual. He just experimented. I didn't realize there was a difference. We get see we get, we get, me and Mag need to fuck each other, just for on the show too. We could that could make Wait, the, what? it could be a, a Mag and Zach fuck each other episode. Thought we were going to do that at the end of the movie. That's why the movie's not finished. Yeah, yeah. We one time we were making a movie and we were talking about it. <laughs> one time you said it was like ninety nine percent done. Where the fuck's the one percent? It is done now. Where is it? You watched it last time you were at my house, you fucking stoner. But next, uh, yeah, anyway. I fell asleep. Uh, anyway, the, uh, we were Got talking about like, oh yeah, we're going to make a movie one day. It's going to end with us fucking each other. It's going to blow minds. <laughs> it's just going gonna, gonna to be a movie. fucking movie with a narrative. That's going to be Mac and Zach, the movie. And it's just going to end with like, like uh, fucking video camera footage of us fucking each other. And then it's going to be like, it's going to zoom out and it's going to be like, cut. And then you're going to see Lucas fucking come out from behind the scene going, dude, that guy, that was fucking great, dude. Or like, he's like, yeah, suck that cock. It's going to end with me flat out fucking bricking in Mac's mouth. And then, and then Lucas is going to say cut and it's going to show him step out from behind and smile. And then it's going to end. It's going to be great. That'll be the PS after the credits. Anyway, does that answer your question, Mendoza? It sounds like they got something for you down the pipeline. Oh, yes, it does. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like he's fucking there <laughs> he sounds on, like man. a south park question a south park character south park question what i'm high okay listen 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 he says the story of bowie and jagger sleeping together came from bowie's ex-wife who said she saw bowie and jagger naked in bed asleep which doesn't necessarily mean that they had sex i guess not but if the it doesn't even necessarily mean it's true because it's his ex-wife true but let's just assume it is i guess that doesn't necessarily mean they had sex but come on man if it looks and sounds like a duck see it, it's just like freaking black metal they're like what what are we gonna do come out and say that ain't true let's just let it fucking uh, let's let people fucking think what they want to think i guess you could have made the same assumptions about uh you know todd and i sharing a bed at the crypticon hotel because you know exactly. Z- zach had these weird night terrors and he fucking stripped down to nothing like what the fuck are you doing man so i guess the uninformed had they walked in and saw an out of context like scene they could have came to those conclusions as well yeah and if they heard me yelling in the night they probably thought i was being fucked they would have <laughs> saw you guys in bed and thought oh that's the guy that was being fucked there's the perpetrators they are in bed together <laughs> he says uh and yeah terrence malick sucks dude he fucking he blows he makes terrible films they're films he says, did you guys know that Edward Furlong is in a straight to DVD, the Crow sequel called Crow Four Wicked Prayer? I did know that. And his acting we is. We got to do that at one point. His acting is shit. It is so bad in that movie. He's wearing corpse paint in there. He's wearing corpse paint as well. Corpse paint exploitation, baby. We should do corpse paint exploitation. Um, I was shocked. Dude, I think Lords of Chaos would be a good cinema anime. We both just watched it, too. Hell yeah. Like, we could honestly probably do a breakdown of that. 
Um, maybe we'll do like a bonus one like Sunday or something. I don't know. He says, I was shocked and appalled finding this out just last week. The film co-stars Tara Reid and Dennis Hopper. That's star power. Um, yeah, it looks like shit. I know I've seen clips like on YouTube and stuff of his acting and his line delivery, but for a long dude, it's, it's terrible in that. And Hopper, he was like Hollywood fucking cancer in the, in the twilight of his life. Right. He was and he was ending up in all these shitty movies and he used to kind of be well respected and he worked with a lot of big, big people in the industry. And then I don't know what happened to him. Like all these other people used to rub elbows with. They were still making these big projects, but nobody was giving fucking their old pal the hop a call. You know, I, I don't know. I think he probably did something. He probably there's a reason why he was a bit of a pariah or something. But oh, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and make good on uh William's request. Do you guys want to do the little shazers? Do it. Fuck, I've been waiting for this. We don't know the phone number. Motherfucker. Just fucking get one, dude. You got a phone? It takes two seconds. No, well, let's see where he I let's see where he lives. He lives it in a small shazers. town, so there's only gonna be one. Um okay, he, he lives in uh you'll have to bleep it out. <laughs> there's probably one little Caesars in that fucking bird, you know? Okay, one sec. Little shazers. I don't even know what you guys are talking about, by the way, when you guys always reference that. What? Did he do an ad or something? No, we just talk like Stone Cold or like Stone <laughs> We just shaders. talk like fucking, like the Kiefer Soda. It, it was whenever we went to Whorehound, we, we stopped at the Little Caesars that I was doing. I was going, yeah. Little Caesars! <laughs> little Caesars! <laughs> okay, so, so, okay, so there's actually two Little Caesars in his town, so how about we both. do both of them? Matt can do one, you can do the other one. Now Zach can go first. <laughs> All right. You want the numbers, Zach? All right. They're still open. Little Caesars on Hardy Street. This little Caesars? Yes. This is Stone Cold Steve Austin. I want a big old pizza with uh, anchovies and some pepperoni and a nice we good. Don't have anchovies. You don't got the anchovies. <laughs> you don't like Stone Cold Steve Austin? Get some anchovy action. Oh, Tianga. Hello? <laughs> Did you hang up on me, some bitch? <laughs> <laughs> it's ringing. Okay, speakerphone, speakerphone. Caesars Center, Grove, how may I help you? This little Caesars? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, uh, do you guys do delivery? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Huh? <laughs> no, we do not. What? <laughs> do you guys do delivery? No, we do not. This is Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> sir? You son of a bitch. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry, sir. I can't understand you. Huh? Ask, ask for a pizza with a can of whoop ass. <laughs> pizza with a can of whoop ass? <laughs> Damn it. I was going to. <laughs> they hung up. Damn it. Okay. Little How can I help you? How's it going? This is Stone Cold Steve Austin. I want I'm a sorry. big pizza, and I want it cooked by my favorite pizza maker, William. I only eat pizza by the William. Run this out. And I want a nice can of whoop ass to go with it for the drink. I cannot understand you, sir. I want some whoop ass to go with my pizza to, ah. for to drink. Wait, you said a cheese pizza and what else? What? You said a cheese pizza and what else? Huh? <laughs> I can't seem to quite hear you either. What? You said a cheese pizza and what else? By my boy, William Lowry. You said your name's William? No, I want it cooked by <laughs> William. He's the best pizza baker this side of the, the U.S. It's like my boy, this big bad, whatever I'm whooping his ass. We don't have anybody here by that name, sir. That's about lying. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't know Vic <laughs> Vic Brian? I can't understand you. you. You like to have the Texas rounds like trying to tell you what I want and you can't understand the... What? Can I get anything uh, else for you other than the cheese pizza? Uh, the nice can of whoop ass for the drink would be nice. <laughs> it's like a heartburn. I'm laughing so hard. Okay, can I have a name for your order? Stone Cold <laughs> Steve Austin. All right, are you actually coming to get the pizza or no? I will be there with bells on. 
Okay. It's going to be 550 when you get here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! You should you should have said, "Huh?" They're actually gonna make that fucking pizza, man. And they're about to close. That's fucking rude, man. Well, they're gonna be able to. They're gonna take that home. Oh, dude, I, that was fucking hilarious. That's funny. Well, <laughs> oh my god, what's the name to write down? Sarkov, <laughs> <Dave Austin. laughs> Oh my fucking so, god, that was great. William, we got at least one of the ones you worked at. I mean, because there's only two in the the location. You'll have to clarify which one we got. Hopefully. We got both of them. Yeah, I think that's the hardest I've laughed on one of those. So we'll we'll leave on a high note. We'll call it macaroni on that. Uh, do you guys have a Mac and Zach that you guys want to plug? Or is the Bukaki fucking ghoulies the newest one? Well, are we recorded because I am, baby. It's, it'll be coming out. That's cool. We gotta go though. We'll come out <laughs> Yeah. And then we, hey, are we still going to release that uh, fucking Fright Night? Yep. Just for a, a special for Halloween, just like a random extra? It'll come out uh, probably, probably beginning of uh, October. Rock on. Uh, and as we talked about in the comments, uh, Ash, Army of Darkness was our last commentary. Check out all the other shit we got on the channel. There's shit tons of stuff. Uh, I think we got one more of these episodes, these regular episodes coming out. And then we're going to, is it one more? Then we're going to start the October Blitz. I think something like that. Uh, I wanted to just put out the H five for the last one, baby. I I don't think that's a legit episode, though. I really don't. <laughs> it it kind of shit the bed. Uh, that's your fault. <laughs> we'll talk more about it. I think it should go out in some way. I don't think it should take the place of a real episode. But regardless, in October we're gonna do the Universal Horror Classic Monster exploitation for our October Blitz. And then, yeah, check out all the other shows in the network. And if you guys are on YouTube, like, subscribe, share, notification bell, all that stupid shit. And make sure you guys are following the links to check us out on the podcast services and leaving us feedback over there. That's all we got. Thank you, guys. Uh, my cheekbones hurt, Zach. Thank you. That was funny. Both your guys was funny. Yeah, I fucked up your mouth with my cock. You, you better thank me for that. I have heartburn. I have heartburn for that. All right. You gave me heartburn, dude. Fuck you. Yeah, I fucked back so hard my dick touched his heart and fucking made it hurt. I think that's a perfect place to stop the, the pot. Bye bye, puppets. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> End of the week at the revival house. Next month's theme, you gotta figure it out. Italian zombies are polished short. I slash it with the knife and the girl next door. And one second in, get it all queued up and ready to hit play in three, two, one. Zach Pete in a solo cup man Couldn't miss Cameron's love man Josh and Scott failed and Riverman's bail Bye bye puppets Sounds good, like this country used to Vibe House, 2019 y'all Mmm, that sounds like fire Like this country used to